Um, are we live? Cool. In that case, good evening everyone, and welcome to KTV Esports Co-Amateur Community Grand Finals. And we will have this final best of seven match between the Big Doge and the Brutahood, our semi-final now champions. And we have here on the desk myself, Pyronius. Uh, we also have Ace, DMT, and Yifang here. Uh, good evening, good gentlemen. Job. Good evening. Uh, me good evening. Uh, Yifang, you need to be invited like... to the game? Uh, yes, that would be very helpful. Uh, I don't have your address. What's your name? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the team is going off. <laughs> <It's laughs> I'll get Dude. some other friend to invite me. From Big Doge, I think we are playing with Ramnorok, uh, who usually plays main tank, or Hog or Ryan Chainsaw, who plays off tank with Diva. Jay playing support, NRG playing support, the Alice Gibbon. And Cheetah, who are the DPS players. And on the Brotherhood oh, right. side, we have Fudo, Just Broken, Equinox, Piggy, Hanasong, and Blood and Zafoon. Okay, so it looks like we'll be heading into Control Center here on Lee Junk Tower first. Oh, we've already had an early DC, so. Uh, See, so that's a good sign. It's always nice. Get the DCs worked out before game. Oh, someone got the Casey screen glitch. That's what's bad, man. Yeah, we can. Absolutely. Sure. Uh, so we will have Big Doge's player lineup on screen. Um, and as we can see, especially in this first match, Ram the Rock in Control Center is definitely going to be playing the Reinhardt, and he has been a very solid and dependable Reinhardt. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if Just Broken on the side of the Brutahood can keep pace with that. Uh, looks like they are going to be running a tank heavy comp in Control Center, which is quite the norm. Uh, with Chainsaw playing the Diva and Cheetah on the Zarya there. So I, uh, I think um, from Big Doge, right? The Alice Given plays a really mean Junkrat for their team. 
uh, especially against other tank stacks. Like he has, aside from the tank matchups, we've actually forget that the Chalkraft players make a huge difference. And big notice, Chalkraft player has been that was given, and against other tank, uh, in in, this, in like mirror matchups, he has proven to be the superior Chalkraft and bring that team usually the win rather than they lost. So. See if we can pull that out again. So we've got two triple tank compositions coming in here. Well, yeah, they are running The only yeah. difference is the Diva and the Diva. Oh, and oh you are you are correct. Yes, uh, Rudolf is running a Hog instead of a Diva, which means I'll be really relying on getting the early fix, which so far has not been the case. And uh, it looks like Big Doge are just plowing into the brood of they have them in full retreat here. And that, that's going to be an easy first point cap for... Doge pushed Doge. that quite quickly with Ramrod coming up with the shield, forcing them back into the small space in the junk Yeah, if we took note, Big Doge actually saved the app from Lucio to use it when they reach the white space, so that they can... Here comes a tire. See, he's got his tire already, he doesn't get anything, but still. But they have them trapped in this front room and uh, can be coming out of the front room. Just broken goes down early to chainsaw. Tire and is the counter is all Ooh, it's a big tire. Jay cheated down and now Bloodlock applying pressure on the chainsaw's diva as well. Remember, Rock also drops and now the other drops too. And he's falling out of the point. Yeah, 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 retreat called. called. Oh yeah, it's an unfortunate saga there. Going off the map, that'll be a couple more seconds on the stall. So very disciplined to just jump straight off the map there. It's easy to think that oh, I can I can get a new mech. Definitely. This looks like on the side of Brotherhood here for the next fight they might have a grab and a reaper combo coming up. But Doge does have a beat to counter that. Then I do to use them. Uh, even then, Ram, I mean, Chainsaw has a chance of the Chainsaw can just... Oh, that's a huge one. Oh, that that huge is Ram's one. Oh, yeah. Neobomb goes in, gets another one. Oh, that's a big Knox as well over that the top. Big pick that, should be, that should be a one fight for Big Dozer right there. And, well, uh, it oh, must look like... Oh, that's not okay. Good. They have the committed the grab there. So, well, with the Suicide Bomb as well. It's a lot of ults used that fight. And they uh, haven't kept the point yet. <laughs> almost, almost uh, leave that one to go. Now they've they pushed up to the front room, but they're not all there yet. It's hey, yeah, really dangerous. Like, at the start of each fight, it's just trading junk rat tires. Once again, big guns from two members. Yeah, I think they were a little overextended there, considering that they only had the four of them, and they were rightly punished for it. This should be an easy retake. Here we have the point trading back and forth, back and forth. And a moral there, maybe... Yeah, it's the thing that's the better of the L is given. It's a very questionable moral there from uh, J3P. Uh-oh, Rav Now they won't have the moral to counter with the grab. So that'll be quite one. Some uh, few question morals coming out from uh, Big Doge in the last last minute, last two fights. Not sure if uh, J fat fingered that uh, moral or what happened. We have another tire on the side of Big Doge coming in with the Shatter use on Brotherhood. Willing to break so the each, shield here. Each team is just trading tires, really. Oh, no, no. it just yeah, it's it's a big one. Seems like the fight's yeah, that, that, that point will again. Yeah, this, this this map so far seems to just be built entirely on those junk rat alts. And here we have the food also 80, 20 percent off his next one. Uh, Let's see, that's another turning point to be watching for. Uh, Rudahood now had it close to that, but close to four ults. They have two building and two there. But Big Doge at the same time have three reels close. Oh, in fact, they're all pretty close. And it's highly likely they will get it as they fight. Oh, huge! Oh, that's oh, a good shot. Oh, how does that Demon self-destruct is going to sign them right out? That self-destruct just saved the day. Ramnarok held his shield up at the last second of Locker, but his shield broke like the split second with the shadow connected with the ground. I think that might be a turning point for this game because Big Doge now have that grab phone coming in. They also have that tire and they have that beat drop. And it's not desperately trying to touch onto the point, but he's just getting taken down. Chainsaw's does from a mech though. Love lock very low in the back one. That's a big fire in the grab. Just waiting for it. 
Lodlock comes in with the clutch hold. They gotta watch out for the jump, though, coming on to the point. Yeah, it's just gonna be. He gets two! Oh. He gets two! And now it's just so much. He gets all three! Oh! oh yeah, that was Evan has just single handedly saved that fight from what was very nearly another point flip. Massive player, knowing that they have grab going to next fight, you'd think However, that they have been able to secure fight, that. But you do have to commit Brotherhood Brot Brot for that fight. Like, that started off oh, like overwhelmingly in the favor of Big Coach. They had two picks at the start, and they had ults. And, uh, but somehow, uh, Brotherhood almost managed to pull it back as well. So The Junkrat plays yeah, were, were just too good. good. Yeah, no, like, incredible play from Bloodlock there, actually, because he was on very, very low health. Hanging back on the back line, the heal packs were obviously not available to him. Um, and he's had to come in on critical health and managed to get a good death blossom in there to then again, turn let's around. Okay. He probably just went behind him and pressed Q. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Reaper. So it looks like we have uh, Miracomp again. Once again, the Miracomp covered in. With no differences in the tanks this time. Winston getting very low on the start of the fight. Does this roll? Oh, this broken kind of goes down early. Well. And Mercy just floundering on point now. No help yeah, coming for her. She's going to get picked off by Winston. Bruno Hood's getting really low. Mark drops as well. The Bruno's taking the direct block, but he's 1 HP. He gets taken down too. Yeah, yeah, that should, yeah, be, that should be a reset there from the Yeah, Bruno Hood's taking this point. Thanks, buddy. I mean, after seeing the performances of Brutahood last week, they looked really strong, but, you know, I even doubted that could Big Doge handle this, but so far, Big Doge is looking like they normally do. Well, they've won, they won the first, uh, first fight both times, but if the last uh, round was anything to go by, that doesn't mean... And now it's given us charging up an early tower ult, and might be going to That's a great ult yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's... Well. Yeah, that was no, that's that, 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 that huge pulse bomb actually. It killed the Winston yeah. and the Mech the Diva so that the Barrage can instantly then pick up two more kills. And that was definitely a good play. Good good use good value from their ults actually. Yeah. And as we can yeah, see, Big Doge have Big Doge basically have both the portals and a Diva bomb still there too. Falk is my opponent. Falk actually. Because right now they have, they're rushing on the point, they're trying to... Oh, the Bomb misses, but yes. Good Diva Bomb, though, good placement. But Sheeta and Nell is given just taking out the Would have been a good Diva Bomb. Oh, that one. Who commits the ult but gets nothing? I know Zong also committed the Diva Bomb, but also picked up nothing. I picked up one kill, but now he's just gonna get d back again. And Big Death is gonna leave him, but he staggered himself. Oh, but they don't, they don't have a check to kill him. Hmm. Crystal Blue Show getting a bit cheeky there, maybe wanting a bit more ult charge. Yeah. <laughs> After he just used it. Looks like we'll be coming up on another Pharah ult, and we've got a Winston ult next fight. With Brutahood yeah, only having a Yeah, they've only got the Valve, and they, 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 they got one fight. And they, they, they need to do it this fight, and, and they really don't have to. And there we go. Barrage comes and in from the L's given. That's a pretty one kill. But uh, it's a pretty valuable kill at this point. The clock has reached overtime. Big oh, Doge looking awesome. strong. Big Doge have five people on the point. The rest is coming in from JP. Manages to get it. He lives on half his HP. Oh, that's so fast. So Big Doge has six men on the point versus the staggering. From yeah, you'd expect it to just be clean up here. Yeah, at this point, it's just broken on the point. Tracer now is trying to stall it out. Safoon, he's not going to get it done. <laughs> and Bang, first map is going to go in a Big Doge. That was a pretty clean round. Of the game. Okay, we see the owl is given playing Chuck. I probably be a solo three kill. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is when he kills a Lucio and then picks up a two for entire. Get ready for a shot. And that's really flipped it for them actually. There are a lot of clutch players from the owl is given. Oh, at the blood oh, loss. Right right awesome. yeah. oh, no. Look at that, forty-two percent damage. Like, come on, man. Give that man a cookie. I think there were there were three times earlier when. When he absolutely won the fight for him, he got ties into grabs on a couple times, got the two pickoffs to win the map, to win the map. Great performance. Alright, so instead of having this break, we'll just go straight into the next map. But yeah, like, looking at that...
damage for Alpha, we can see just how much work he put in for his team on that round specifically. Because, realistically speaking, in a tank stack, aside from your Junkrat, the Zarya's should be a huge source of damage output as well. Mm. But, surprisingly, Cheetah barely built his grab multiple times, so... Yeah, I think Hana actually was... got a couple more grabs than Cheetah yeah, did. Yeah, definitely. Just... So, yeah, that, that just shows, like, Cheetah was definitely not playing his best. So, like, that's why the round was so close, probably, because Cheetah wasn't playing his best, and it was really up to the battles given to form and push that team up. And we see that in the stats reflecting. Because normally, right, if your Zarya was putting out damage, you wouldn't end up with something like 42% damage done by one character in a team scenario. Like, yeah. at most, like, maybe 30 if they're flagging or something, but actually 42% of the team's damage done is nuts. So... Definitely huge credit there to that was good. Putting on his big boy shoes and carrying the team this time. Putting on his Jake shoes, getting that drunk rat play in. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna uh, be moving to King's Row. So we're gonna be seeing some more Ryan Zaya comps by the looks of it here. <laughs> Definitely a hallmark of King's Row. Looks like Big Doge are coming out with the Reaper here, which is an interesting pick. And Zafun well, on the Hanzo. Oh no, Zafun's on. Brotherhood. Who have they got for Hitscan? No Hitscan. So they're playing Triple Tank with the Reaper, so the Pharah here might be causing them a bit of trouble if the Brotherhood do keep that. Going into yeah, I think, I think the Reaper is possibly anticipating a, a tank stack rush. <laughs> I mean, at this get. point, uh. The Brotherhood probably know exactly what Big Doge is running. And they're just trying to find their ways to counter it because they can't. Because so far, there's been no answer to Big Doge's just tank stacking team comp. Five, um, so, right now, what they're trying to run is run a Pharah just so that, one, you know, you stop the tank stack team. because it's harder to contest you. But at the same time, the Hanzo is an interesting thing. Well, we have seen a lot of Hanzo on Kings yep. Road from Rose looking, recently, so. Probably looking to try and get that, like, early pick with Scatter. <laughs> And then go from there on. We've got Lord getting some good rockets into the team there. Yeah. Lord Lord doing a lot of poke damage in the back. But at this point, they now they can't actually contest the Alice given, so he gets free reign on their tanks just like that. Takes down Anathon and then gets health. He's got an early barrage charged off going in. Chainsaw doesn't that. Come it's a good barrage. barrage. Gets the Diva out of Mech immediately, but uh, we'll tanks just withstand the rest of it. That was definitely good. I think those are ready for that. That was, that was just a good play from him. Big Doge is playing really well right now because they're like avoiding the Pharah rockets. Like despite Bloodlock charging up that uh, barrage, right? Um, generally, if he was landing that many rockets to charge barrage in roughly like 30 seconds, he should be getting some massive damage in and getting kills. But the way that the reason that no kills are rolling in is just means Big Doge is playing safer, as well as Brutal not having anyone that can actually go in and follow up with the kills. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Rockets. That he's landing. Yeah. He's been getting the big AoE rockets, but Jay's been right there to just undo it all with the more AoE healing. So. Both more rolls coming into the spot. Oh, it's a big shatter, but the grab, counter grab is just completely shuts it down. Wow. Uh, but that was at the expense of three ults from Big Doge. Um, with that being said, the only ult that was probably unnecessary wasn't Reinhardt ult. Uh, however, Big Doge do still have three ultimates to work with there, and Brutalhood only have what, three, or oh, they're going to be close to three. Because Anderson and Bloodlock are building up that bra barrage, grab, uh, grab, grab barrage combo, but there is still NRG and the next. Oh, Ooh, there yeah, we have a bit questionable uh, death loss from there, but kill story. On Bloodlock used his barrage. Oh, the Bloodlock is going to only get three. Chase his life for it still, but right now Big Dutch have no dealers with him, and she is dangerously low. And Hana's doing the right thing here, he's just pushing forward and as the tanks are low, he's got the grab in the pocket. There goes Brand the Rock, there goes Cheetah. The tanks. Lombard coming out with a huge on there. But there's still four members here on Big Doge, can they go for the Reaper set? Oh, they are going for the Reaper set. They're going for it, they're going for the but now they're all caught in the grab. Grab comes in, Moria all starts traded, Diva is D-Mech, that was given a still at the back of the shooting at them without being contested. I think he's finally oh, going to get off a sneaky res there, and uh, yeah, that's still a pretty good hold by Big Doge. It's roughly like almost yeah, it was... a minute. It's very good. 
one in clutch play from Bloodlock, let's take to the point. Round the rock, oh, oh, yeah. And right now, Big Doe just need to really get back off. Can they back off at this point? She doesn't need to do as well. It drops. In RG, get out with JP. No, in RG also drops. Oh my god. Three yeah. Yeah. Four oh. lane. Great pursuit there from Bloodlock. Just landing those direct rockets to that get those kills. Big Doe's really yeah. needed to regroup there after the late yeah. clicks. Like, look at that. How does some Bloodlock? Pretty much just charge the ults once again. So now entering this fight, they'll have five ults from Brutahood yeah. versus you know, yeah. maybe two or three from Big Doge. So Big Doge need to either get massive value from their ults or Brutahood have to really mess this one up. Then looking at the Alice given here, is probably going to go try and get a massive reprop. He's playing on the front line now. Hiding comes up. Still ignoring Bloodlock and he's just above them. Gets Cheetah. Oh, that's going to be better. That's huge. They overcommit a couple. Oh, oh. Yeah, they did overcommit yeah, there. I don't think the Pharah ult was needed. Yeah. I don't know if... The Pharah ult definitely wasn't needed, but I was wondering if Big Doge... I mean, Brutahood actually managed to plan that combo. That they were going to break the Ryan Shield using Hiding so they can get the slap down. Because if they did, then that is a massive play coming out. Let's just assume it was, because that was a huge. And Big Doge here, yeah, probably looking for a uh, grab combo. Uh, yeah, they, they have, they so. have an ult stacked up. Here okay, comes the Zyro. There's the grab. It's good, we just no more ult. Yeah, no more ult needed, really. And yep, no more ult, so being committed. That is really cool. That's what you want to see. That's the that's kind of fights you want to be taking. Clean fights where you only need one or two ults at most. Yeah, yeah good, ult, oh, good ult discipline there by Big no, Doge. Yeah. Definitely. So this next fight will be four ults versus uh And if you see four ults, three, pretty much. three. If you yeah, see that, yeah, four versus uh, three behind the yeah, of line. So Foon is already one HP, he's getting healed up now, but how does one still have the boat? That one's giving a jump going for a big ring Oh, he doesn't get it. Shadow comes in. B drop also committed. Yeah, uh, Grab doesn't get much. Yeah. He got off Moira and Lucia, but Moira just faded out and they committed to so right, three ults have already been pulled by Big Doge. Uh, with only one being traded from the side of Brutahood. So now Brutahood actually have one, two, three, four, and they're pretty much close. They're close as to a McCree ult at the end, once again. Um, versus only one on the side of Big Doge. So if that was given, can manage to pull off a three man Death Blossom, they can definitely turn this. Well, he's he's sitting up there, he's waiting for us. He it. is ready. Oh, and uh, here he comes. Oh, he has been scattered out, but they don't have any. That's huge. That's yeah, huge. That's, that might be the upgrade. That's broken. Is in so deep. He gets picked out as well. Bloodlock is above. They're looking for that Farag, but he's going to commit it when there's three humans on the team now. No, he's not. Oh, and, 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 that, and that's the downside of not having a diva there. Is they absolutely saw him as he jumped in, but they at that point did not have anyone who could actually deal with it. But still, there's still both supporters from the side of Brutahood, as well as the Barrage, and close to a Gravitons, uh, I mean, close to a Gravitons, yeah. Uh, although Cheetah's also yeah, close to his both, Yeah, there. both rounds are pretty close to coming up. In this case, uh, Big Doge should be committing more ults real soon to just take this fight up. Uh, they genuinely, there's, there's a grab coming up again. There's the Barrage, the uh, there's the more ult as well, come on, good. That is just huge damage just rolling another, in. Yeah, just clean, clean win between that uh, Moira ult and the Reinhardt hammer. I think Brutal so actually the... committed their Moira ult to that fight as well, so... Yes, they, they, were, the... they were no, both firing. Brutal do have three ults, however, Big Doge are close to pretty much three of their ults as well. If they can get this Diva Bomb and Earth Shadow combo off, this can pretty much seal them. This is another fight win, and then they'll probably... Yeah. There's only a minute left on the clock, so... Something definitely to watch out for here. Uh, the uh, even then, I think they've, they've made it out Actually, a lot of ults there. They might be able to win this because the beat drop, yeah. the beat drop, the riot shield, the diva matrix, even Barash could kill through it. Oh, but they managed to get the rest of JP's in a bit deep, he gets bubbled. Maybe just surviving. Shadow still comes Oh, it's a good shadow. Gets both kills and they cleaned out, so Brutahood do manage to push through here. And they are going all the way through to make sure that those uh, kills are all staggered. JP That's managed to get out. Chainsaw got out as well. However, well, this is this is the final fight of this round. Um, one old versus close to three. It is the oh, there's a death blossom in the room with the tanks. That is a painful place to be. 
so Chris survived with one HP left on the thing. I think really right now if you're big dodge, you just want to try scores in overtime. But no! And Bruno matched three Catholic with like seven, six seconds left on the clock. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was an intentional play or not on the part of the room, but he baited those tanks into that tight room very well for that Death Blossom. I don't know if he intended to just hide there and come back out and they just jumped on him and he took advantage of it, but uh, it definitely paid out for him. That was truly unfortunate, because if that fight lasted an extra five seconds, Big Dodge definitely could have turned it. They had three people with ults on like 80 to 90. But we'll see how this attack goes, you know. Uh, 6.1 seconds left on the clock. I mean, they definitely made it work for themselves because if, Bruder, if Big Dodge roll through again, at least they get a second chance. But uh, we'll have to see. Maybe Bruder, uh, maybe Big Dodge might not even make it to the final point. And yeah, definitely looks like um, definitely looks like the Brutalhood here are expecting the tank stack from Big Doge, running both the Reaper and the Junk right here. Oh yep. <laughs> However, the L is given being on that Widowmaker, that could be the answer. Because if you're the Reaper and you're against a tank stack, you want to walk from behind them rather than face front, just trying to like be so obvious into them, right? So the L is given is coming from behind. He can clearly see when Bloodlock comes. And if he can land that one air shot, that could be the opening they need. And at the same time, that is, if he doesn't land that shot, at least uh, Bloodlock knows that now he's pressured and he can't actually go for those deep flanks. So it really helps with dealing against Five, that. Oh, well, no, but they switched the quad tank. Three, two, one. So, this is going to be interesting because obviously the Brutahood are running basically every hero they can to disrupt and tear apart this comp. But that doesn't mean you can because this comp is so difficult yeah, to They have Bloodlock going into the back. He gets JP dangerously low. And Bloodlock's just being ignored at this point. And Chainsaw Demect means there's going to be very little answer to Bloodlock now. Ravnarok is also. And they're on drops as well, she's on drops, she drops, and I think that should be the fight over. As you can see, Zafun already has that tire. Bloodlock and Hanasong both pretty much have their ultimates as well. Um, and yeah, JP does have that more though, so... Oh, that's not surprising when you're healing four tanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a really unclean fight by Big Doge. There was a target that should have dropped, but it didn't drop. Coming in for second attempt. G is really deep in the low right now. He has a tie coming. Doesn't Tire matter. The top doesn't get anything. That was given going in for that for through that hotel for that flank. He is close to that grab, but he's being chased by Bloodlock. He's being chased by a Reaper. Can he survive through this one? They really need to kill. Oh, there's a grab one coming in. Oh, there's the a grab and the and the trance is there right as it goes off. Picks up one kill on the Equinox. Equinox. Now they lost the main healer. Lola uses that burn. Straight into the defense matrix. Doesn't get anything from it, and it looks like the Brutahood are going to get just obliterated on this fight, but uh, yeah. a lot of ults being committed to make it happen. Yeah, Big Doge uh, not only did the Death Boss get uh, Matrix, the uh, Cheeto on the Road Dog also pushed them away with the Whole Hog. So that, that regardless of that Matrix, that Death Boss wasn't going to connect with anyone. Oh, nice hook by Cheetah! Gets the food! And Big Doge still yeah, pushing. Big Doge just, yeah, pushing all the way up, and they're just gonna hold at the very end of stage B with these tanks and just uh, let the cart slowly make its way through with NRG running it. Alright, this is Mario Kart all over Blood Lock's very sneaky up top right now. Um, at this point, Big Doge should just be looking to back out. It comes in from the food. It's going around all the it's way going back. around. It's a long flank with the tire. Oh, but it goes for NRG instead. He sees the NRG. And Big Doge needs to just disengage. She has less hook of the Hannah Song as well, but at this point, I think Big Doge, yeah, Big Doge is just backing up. This is a really nice disengage, though. Oh, that was giving us two hooks. Cool. That is truly unlucky. Yeah, I think that's uh, probably one of the worst to get staggered as well, because all that Zarya charge is now gone. But there is now five ults on the side of Big Doge. However, 
you know, both the portals coming up from Red Hood could just be the kind of into it. And uh, Bloodlock is uh, very sneakily making his way around. He's gone on a long flank. So right now, this is really him. odd, Chaser, because they can definitely just... Uh, oh, grab being committed, and uh, Bloodlock is coming in to harass JP from off. Chaser goes to turn down for tested. Bloodlock's not in a really good position right now. No, he's in a lot of trouble there, but he is splitting the big doge's Still attack walking. power. Oh, that's a oh, great diva bomb placement. A good rotation from uh, from the Bruno's edge. He finally taken down, but as long as really deep onto Rather Rock, Rather Rock drops to 1 HP. And without uh, JP being there, he can't survive. That was good, it's also yeah, a couple of late kills there, and I think, yeah, Big Doge will need to reset, and then they go. No, Big Doge at this point can actually make the quad go in, like that was, this is a fair fight for them. But uh, it looks like they don't choose to do that. You know, they really needed to combo that Diva Bomb with the Graviton, because Mark had mesh had seen it up already. Uh, in which case, after just broken places the Aurora's shield once, uh, kind of immediately put it back down, and then there was nothing ready for them to block the Diva Bomb after the Graviton went out. Well, here comes the engage, and Bloodlock is well out of position, and he's not going to be ready to fight into that for a while. Tire still comes in. Oh, that does get both supports. That is huge. And here comes Bloodlock making into the fight at last. Ooh, I don't know if he needed that. Yeah, four ults coming out of rid of it. That was yeah. good, and also does have that grab on again. But, once again, Mark has that transcendence just for that. You know, after this push, it's still not working. I really think Big Doji can consider switching up the team club. Yeah, they have been uh, sticking to this tank stack for a while, and it's uh, very much a momentum-based playstyle. There's the grab, there's the trance. Looks like they've committed the whole hog into it as well, so... The lock is just doing damage to the old team. Completely uncontested. Yeah, and a song pick up a few kills there as well, and a uh, yeah, chainsaw going down the other as well. Yeah, so I think we are going to see some swaps out of them now. Uh, but with one minute to go, that doesn't give them a lot of time to build up any ults on these yeah, new heroes. A bit late. I suppose this is sort of the disadvantage of being the number one team, is that uh, when you're the best team in the tournament and you've got a strat that you've just been unbeaten on, People will spend time working out how to beat it. Yeah. Ooh, so free going down early there, and uh, it does get JP. Even though, um, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh that's, that's a very bad. unfortunate death blossom. But uh, actually, actually, no, it's a good death blossom nonetheless. Even though he was stuck in that. Uh, actually, now it's just there's two people here from the hood, and yeah. Cheetah's still behind the corner, so he can definitely touch onto the point. Now he's just waiting for like a few minutes of the team to come back before he goes for the touch. There we have more LB committed out there. Yeah. Respawn's favoring the attackers here, so... Ooh, that's a good kill. You could also trade it out, though. I think this is looking not bad for Brugs. Well, that supercharger yeah, that supercharger could be absolutely... And yeah, the kills Energy, are... Uh, Energy needs to clear that B-drop right now. There's the B-drop over here. Now give it pretty much as a death block at this point as well. Oh, but it looks like they don't need it. And it's a very nice turnaround there by Big Doge. Ooh, what a fight that. What a round this has been. This game. She gets hooked. Nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even talk about it anymore because, like, like there's just hooks and coming out everywhere. Here and there and there and it's just Hook City. See another Ooh, one. I thought almost one. You. Yeah, it doesn't get Hook City anything. The food's in a really dangerous position right now. Oh, that was gonna be a position to actually go in for that. Uh, for the uh, death boss. I don't know if Mark can react fast enough to hit that transcendence, but that might. That's what they need. Ooh. That was gonna really need to go in right now because. You know, Big Doge aren't fighting any yeah, opportunities, they, they just... Oh, 
and they're going to ram as well for a nice pulse bomb, sort of delaying it out. The Owl's Given still in that same position. Mark doesn't know, and he's pretty far from the team right now, so the Owl's Given goes for the death bomb. And there it goes. Basically, he's broadcasted by firing a couple of shots. Yeah, I think the mistake there was firing before he hit the ult because they gave people a chance to react. Uh, the, the real mistake here was that Victor just waited and wasted the entire minute and a half doing nothing for this entire third point of Q-Star push. They got that second point on the overtime, they had a minute and 30 there, but they did nothing. Like, that was given teleported up there and then they were waiting for the whole team to regroup, but they never managed to fully regroup together. But the fight's still going on. The fight is still been going on, but that transfer mark should give them the edge. They just need to convert some kills off it. And there goes the L is given. That's a big source of damage down. Also manages to get one. Also on does get some burn. JP is uh, but JP mark being is down a, is... Mark is not a really good position, Ooh. but that's a deal bomb coming in. Mark just barely avoids it, but does yeah, get punished. Oh, but Bloodlock gets cheated with Pulse Bomb, and that's a that's big shot there. That should, that should be that the bubble. end. That bubble's... Yeah. That bubble actually was given to him with Reaper as well. Hi, guns are tired. Let's get NRG. That was given. Comes in. What's that death loss of? Gets one kill. Hulk just, just... Just taking a breather through it to stay off. But uh, the kills are going in favour of the big doge now. Oh and my god, I can't express how back. much of a difference that bubble by Ravnarok did. Despite the shadow connecting with our team, that bubble just prevented anyone from following up without walking forward. And by the time they actually reached into the bubble, all the members of Victor stood back up. That was a huge dive so coming in onto where Mark. Where and then he goes. But Ravnarok getting it. punished for it. Chainsaw slammed against Chainsaw. the wall. Now, Pulse Bomb picks up NRG. Ella's given takes down just broken. It's still kills coming through for both sides. Big Doge ready to watch for C9 at this point. Oh, that's kill the snowball here for Big Doge. They can do this one. And another death boss of Big Doge. That should get it across the line there. And just oh my god, what a turn around off the Right game. in the overtime. Yeah, I thought Big Doge were going to lose that for sure. Like after that fight occurred on the card. But there were a few very, very close moments there, but every time they've managed to just barely pull it out. And so we'll be going into home bank with the teams having basically a minute each. Oh. Uh, the six second advantage given to the Brutalhood almost negligible. Let's see what Big Doge come up with this time because <coughs> looks like Brutalhood are going to run a pharmacy. Nope, nope, maybe not. Oh no, they're back to what they were running just before. Let's see if Big Doge can answer to it. Well, you got a bit of an interesting mind game here, right? Because Big Doge know that they can't run tank stack into the comp that Brutalhood have been running. So, do they do? Do they expect to see something else out of it? Because surely they won't run see, tank stack again, it, right? And thus... I like this from Big Doge. I really like this because the Reaper could be the answer to your the Hog, and Jad, that's what's like stopping Big Doge from advancing. Because they're so focused on having to kill the Orsa and the Orsa shield that they don't really get a chance to look at the Reaper. But with this, right, the L is given can just go and shred through their tanks and, as well. And it's really which team can get this faster. And for all these one-minute pushes, the first attack and the momentum is super important. So let's see how big Do how far Big Doge can actually manage to go with this team though. The L is given going in deep for that damage. The big Doge have already capped the take on the point. Brutal is just giving all that this. And as long as I'm moving out to... Get taken down with this big mech. That's still good for Big Doge though, because they... They're not going to get there. The they just give up the point. And Chuck's broken and they're taken down. This is bad for Brutal because they've given up the point and they're getting killed now. So this is basically giving them the long spawn. They're going to get huge staggered. That was given going in for that 1v1 thing with... Bloodlock makes out all the sliver. How much does he have? Let me have a this. Oh, that 5 HP survival. And 10 seconds of... At this point, Big Doge really should just be getting distance on the car. And we do have a pause being called for. Pause? Pause? Is there a pause coming in? Yeah, sorry, no <laughs> buttons. Like, right now, if you're Big Doge, you really want to just 
stack six people on the point and get that car as far as you can rather than go for the forward push because you really don't get any value from pushing forward like this. Um, the entire Brutalhood is regrouping in their spawn at the long spawn, so really you're just not getting any value. You could just be sitting here pushing the car rather than now you have to fall back to the car and they'll come to test you real soon. However, there are ults on the side of Big Doge, uh, although Warrior ult and the Chakra High coming in. Can you how big the Chakra High could steal the fate of Big Doge? That's oh, huge! that's a big tire! But the moon is traded. That was gonna get so It's a nice matrix on it. Still it. putting in the work. Definitely, this is still a trade. Look, Lolo going in deep. Tower's given to me. Tower's given to go to the Oh, that's a big... It's a big, 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 it's it's a big death blossom. Awesome. Arissa, against all odds, manages to fortify through that. Oh, but, but Chainsaw's uh, still managed to come in. Chainsaw's still comes in. That's an abundance of space, but uh, Bloodlock is just... The reinforcement bomb is going to come back now. Big Doge is playing this so well. The Owl's Given is just putting in so much work for them right now. And as well as Chainsaw, like, oh my god, these two right now are just on fire. But we can't forget ARG just sitting on that card. And he he's clearly knows that he can't get off this card right now. Because otherwise they would see that a long time ago. So I really like that conscious decision. Oh, it's a big, energy. big shadow by Ram that'll get them the Shadow second point. One. Shadow gets only one person, but gets that D-Maker. That's what's actually unique. That's what's unique at this point if you're Big Doge. Keep this snowball going through. Because the Cheetah's almost got that. She just has that grab on search, and it's both support us on the side of Big Doge. Can you look at that grab on? Grab on? Yeah, there's the grab. Doesn't match get his kills right now. And oh, Bloodlock going for the card now. But oh, ran there up respawning. We can't get stopped here. Yeah, this is this one's the final stop. But that's a pretty good push for one minute. Absolutely, that's uh, definitely going to be a hard one to match. Score. Five to three. Switching sides. And here we have Brutalhood resorting to that dive comp. Although this is a merciless dive comp for the Pharaoh. Merciless Pharaoh. So at this point, if Chainsaw just flies towards Bloodlock with his rockets on and holding left click, um, Bloodlock is probably going to get popped out of that sky without that mercy helping him. Well, I mean, you can to an extent. Get away with just putting the Zenyatta orb on it. Um, but, it's still going to get you through a Diva charge, usually. But, um, however, you, uh, in this case, I highly doubt Mark will have the opportunity to actually put that orb onto Bloodlock, considering that. Oh, the tanks are gonna he's be going over to the Mercy. Ah, uh, there we go. But yeah, at this point, like, the damage output from Big Doge is huge. Like, there's, not enough, there's nowhere near enough defense coming out, like, heals or shields that match that. So. Brutalhood really ha have to make these dives super speed if they want a chance at this. <laughs> Absolutely, and there is the first dive. Doesn't really get much for it though, because... Uh, the GP is traded out though! The shield is broken! The and is ooh, the other's given down as well. That actually does put them in a very bad spot, Big Doge. And uh, yeah, the point is being cleared up here. Chainsaw is still there, but just alone and buying as much time as they can. And it's going to get Hannah Song's Mac back as well, so... It's certainly going to uh, enable a good push. switch to that dive comp. Uh, I'm not sure if that was actually a necessary call, considering all they need is one clean team fight. But uh, I do like their idea. They, they're realizing that, like, now we need to start making changes. We can't keep trying to force the same thing. That was going to take down Bond Lock. There's only two things left on the clock. Big Doge can really actually push forward with this advantage right now for this fight. But it looks like they're still regrouping. Yeah, it does look like they're back, you know, the Diva is still catching up with the rest of the team. No, I think they're fighting. They're in a really good position right now. They're going in. Just Rooker jumps in. Doesn't get anything. Raven Rock is forced to jump out, though. Yeah, Ella's giving just throwing painful. Oh, that goes right into the back line. That's going to pick up Mark. Uh, and that's going to put the Brutal into a bad position. But the beat is dropped with that Dragon Blight. <laughs> Uh, barrage from Bloodlock not getting much there as the card slowly continues uh, to make its way through. Oh, right now, there's only two tanks from Big Doge coming in. 
They're not yeah, getting it. Does look it. like yeah, Brotherhood, Brotherhood have indeed managed to weather through that one. The cart will continue to roll through until the. Uh, yeah, they should still, get it pretty much to second from here. There's still three ults on the side of Brotherhood. A big Doge have one, but they're really close to both their support ults, so this, could, this next fight is going to be the decider. Yeah, a good transfer from NRG will make all the difference. Definitely. Big Doge at this point need to just don't not rush it. Don't rush it, don't get picked, and regroup fully. Because oh, she to get skipped out early. And, uh, they're jumping in. Raj comes in from... Now that was given. Picks up two? Two for two trade. Oh, one see. And a DMAC, yeah. Oh, there's a trans coming from NRG! There's a trans, but... Uh, they need to, well, they really need to roll again at this point, right? Still anyone's fight here, it's really going to come down to who's going to start cleaning up the kills. Ooh, an early one on the NRG does definitely tilt things in favour of the Brutalhood here. And there goes JB as well. But the reinforcements are coming back in. From both sides, actually. They managed to get the payload. The big dogs realise that they need to just back out right now. Oh, that's very unfortunate, because they're going to struggle to get anything in there in time. This, this may just be it, and Chainsaw going for a self-destruct. Oh, lands in the bubble. Huge Good pulse bomb there, though. Big pulse bomb. Huge risk coming in as well. Can't make that turn this one around. This kill scrolling in. There's only two more people left on It's really two versus two. But uh, Hannah Song's still in mech, so that's a, Peter, that is a pretty big advantage. Cheetah is contesting that card desperately, but he's taking uh, down a big, a, a brutal match to kill this with. That was uh, just an incredible match there. And for it to come down to just 2v2 uh, on the card at the very end, I mean, when you're in that situation, it's the Diva that still has Mech that's going to win. But uh, very, very close game there. You have the huge combo coming out. <coughs> that is all from me. I actually need to go now, so I'll leave you guys to it. But uh, good games coming up so far. We might even get pushed to game seven. Yeah, I mean, what a what an amazing <laughs> second match. Uh, uh, half don't uh, wanted to go to game seven. Half wanted to go to game seven. So a good game. But I'm sure all of you don't want a game seven either because you know <laughs> you guys have to stay up that extra time. But yeah, then again, you want to see some. Morning, then but, again, you uh, do want to see some good Overwatch coming out. There. Absolutely. Alright, so I'll leave you guys to it. Yeah. That's you, Fang, y'all. No worries. Thanks for coming, you, Fang. Once again, thank you so much. Hi. Um, sorry for coming out. I like you, Jay My name is Koma. And that was incredible. But I just come in at the very end. Holy crap, both teams did this so well. So now we're in like five minute break here. So let's just do a quick um, kind of rest for and a lot of just go in for both teams. Okay, let's uh, come on from Ace Innate. What do you think? What like, you know, like, what big dog did very well, but then break up and failure, like not able to hold for defense. So what oh, I mean, looking at big dogs, you have to point what they did extremely well, especially on that tack, was when they were going through that overtime play and that L was given pulling out clutch reaper play after clutch reaper play to keep the push going, which really got them towards the end. Uh, with the Brotherhood, I think their Farrah pick really works in their favor towards the quad tank that Doge was using alongside the Reaper. And I really think that was what got them through towards the end was, uh, who was playing? Who was playing? Bloodlock. Bloodlock playing the Farrah, the, getting some good picks early on and pushing them through on that, on that second push. That's, uh, that's a good point. What do you think about Pyronaut? Like, what do you think, like, is a good point for Brotherhood just win the fire? Well, I think they've definitely been practicing on um, how to deal with tank stacks because we've seen, you know, all the VODs are available and we've seen Big Doge just be unstoppable on this quad tank rush. So you know that coming into the finals, going up against that, you need a plan to beat it. And it can you can see that Brutahood have definitely been doing some research, trying to work out how can we beat this and practicing putting that into action. And it's definitely paid off for them. <laughs> Internet cut out for a reason of the It's a robot for a little bit. It's okay. Wow, well, that's alright. Yeah, we'll no, I've, I've been getting really bad ping tonight and I don't know why. <sighs> Someone that I've had I believe you need to watch out for that. <laughs> okay, so in my view, I think um when Ramarod played tank at uh Reinhardt, because hit Reinhardt is really like famous in this tournament. Somehow he got countered really hard by blood by Bloodlock, that's guy play Ripper, 
literally just come in and kill him only. Like that's the reason of the whole thing. That's make like big dog really struggling for the quad tank because you know there's a ripper waiting to kill your main tank. So you're gonna like no shield and then defy gonna be in the bad position because you're gonna match it and someone else gonna you know pushing you pretty hard by that. So I think this map they just like read the mind like both teams play really well, but it's just like the better team win because they have the counter pick pretty much. That's how the thing happening around. Like in the last uh, fight, we see Farah from Bloodlock just always sky from behind. Like Big Dog can't able to do anything because they only have like Tracer and Farah. So every move of them always have to be like very considering in the like, you know, possible could be something wrong happening. So they always have like considering every move. So it make them into a like, bad point. Somehow. Oh, anyway, now we're going to like the second map, Hanamura. What do you guys think? Gonna be the new chain for them. I believe they are roof up and get ready for the next map pretty soon now. So, anyone feel free to say fuck. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what we see coming out of both teams on Hannah Maria because it's one of those maps that there are so many different ways to run, especially the attack on it. Um, you know, you can dive into it quite happily, you can go for a more slow poke and pick based comp. Um, it's probably one of the maps you're least likely to see the tank rush, but all assault maps are still pretty viable for that. So it's going to be interesting to see what we see the teams pull out here. Yeah, I mean, I think Big Doge has shown that they're quite flexible. They can play dive, they can play triple quad tank, or they can play slow. I mean, Ramnorok is extremely good on the Reinhardt, a little less so on Winston, but it'll be interesting to see what they pull out there. Okay, here we go. It looks like both teams get ready. The break is over, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's Kema hosting. Now we're going to grab Paranaut and Ace Intake at the cast of Futunai, the second game on Hanamura. Let's get in there. Uh, third, third game, Kima. Oh, third game? Third game? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, Lee, Lee Jung Tao was over very quickly, but... Uh, That's all right. You definitely made up for it. Yeah, you'd be forgiven for thinking that King's Row was, uh, was the first match, given how long it, uh, it went on for, especially <laughs> with that overtime for Bing Judge. Oh, well, indeed, my friend. Oh, can't wait to see this one happening around. All right, so let's have a look at what the team comp's looking at. Uh, on the side of Big Doge for their defense, they're going to be playing slow. They've got triple tank, actually, running into this. And it looks like on the side of Brotherhood, they're going to be playing a classic dive comp. Yeah, so it's probably expect to see Cheetah taking a positioning on that high ground there on the Soldier. Um, but that could leave him very vulnerable to that dive. Um, with only D.Va being able to quickly respond to try and catch that. So it's... And yep, Cheetah is up on that uh, top right high ground. Now, it is hard to get an angle to jump that, admittedly. So mm. it's going to be yeah, interesting to see how the dive comes out from the Brutahood here. Actually, just before I go, I have a question to ask. Are we going to add our awards <laughs> this evening? Things like... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they'll win MVP award. No, not, not for Dust this, but also we, were having a, we also have awards for most improved player and etc. coming in. Uh, you'd have to ask Kima, I'm not sure. But here we go, we've got the dive. Yeah, that's all. Not even making well, it to the platform, well, though. Bit of a very clumsy dive there. They weren't yeah. really full-demanded when they came in, no, and they're being punished for it. They're being, yeah. They're really chasing Cheetah yeah. down, but... Oh, but the baby diva kills JP. And he gets his oh, that's back. a big, big... And he gets the remake, and they're just going to get out and use the respawn advantage to come back in. Although Just Broken does linger and get picked off. Big Doge are still full health, though, and JP is worked. Fades back real soon. That cooldown is real short. Um, holds, yeah, uh, JP already halfway back. Yeah. And practically back with the team now, so... That window closed. But they did successfully get Cheetah off the high ground. He hasn't taken his position back, so he's easy to It's very hard to get back up there. Into the back, diving into the back, and he's off. You mash a kid Cheetah. Round drops too. And Zafoon putting in some big work here on this Genji play. Oh, there's a grab, and there's five of them in there. All six of them in there. 
Oh, that wow. was the clutch play. Holy shit. Yeah, he's definitely going to be crying about that one then, rightfully so. I mean, if Big Dodge managed to win this, like, the, by far the Alex Gibbon is on their road to MVP. <laughs> <laughs> so far, yeah. Yeah, he's just been the barring any, player. Barring any huge misplays, I think. Uh, that's good. Kind of same. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Blade it. comes it's in, yeah. Me, Matrix. Yeah. He gets he's on one health. Yeah, Sam Barry. Just broken, there. also commits in, and he's low too. And a uh, bit of a questionable primal rage there. Yeah. The fight was pretty much over. I'm hitting three ults there on the side of Hood, so no gain. No, still three, still both support ults on the side of Red Hood. Uh, how about Big Doge are having pretty much five ults coming up? They're looking really strong to win this right now. Some uh, early poking. And it's just broken, still makes his way back from spawn. Al has his grab up again, but on the side of Roto, they have the traps to try counter it. Here we go, here's the grab, there it is. You a bomb. Oh, the traps is not gonna. Yeah. It only gets the food, though. But that should be enough. That's a Diva bomb coming out of the top. Completely missing his target. That's really unfortunate. Oh, a big Doge, how just pop all four of them? Yeah, that's cost him a lot. No, they've only really got the uh, moral. They were the sound barrier coming up actually Here we fairly have soon. Here Brutahood dropping in some trades, some swaps on their characters. Oh, it's a good hook on the ram. That's gonna. Yeah, moral yeah. does come in, but uh, probably to keep Ram Rock alive. Actually, good decision making by JP. Yeah. Chainsaw. Ooh, Ooh good pulse bomb, bomb, but no but follow up. Oh, Mark is very low there. NRG does have that B drop, and the Ramrock drops, they need to use the Ramrock goes down right now. They must not give our charge. There's, yeah, there's yeah. another grab. Wow, he is getting those so quick. Kill three. So there's, now this is a four on three fight in here. We have JP alone having a deal with the Ramrock. That was man. He got remember to get out though. Now on that's a late kill on the Bloodlock. He is going to be struggling to get back into this fight. That's on a long flank. He was just there. Oh, does get NRG and is now whole hogging on the point, but he's probably not going to be able to get much from there. Pin comes on to Equinox and I... Oh, and they're just going to... Yeah, they're just going to bully him off the point there. They're going to him straight off this map. Big Dog just saying, this is my house. Get out of here. You're not invited to the party. That is a beautiful Yeah, they're not going to be able to get anybody on there. It's a good hold by Big Dodge. And now, yeah, Brutal would never be a dangerous spot here because they can't afford to give up a tick. And uh, that's really going to mean that uh, Big Doge can absolutely run that momentum base quad tank because even though Brutal would have been managing to pick it apart and take it down, they haven't been doing it quickly enough to prevent that first tick. I mean, it's very likely that Big Doge can just save up all their ultimates, go for one push, and... Get an easy, get an easy tuck. Definitely. Bruno would have resorted actually now to run this Ryan Zarya composition, which is like honestly really weak against a tank stack in the same versus matchup. However, with that Junkrat and the Discord Orb, they might be able to put out a huge damage up and just keep Big Dodge suppressed. So it's really oh, they, swapped the Zarya. they have swapped the Zarya over to the uh, the Roadhog, and that, that should help a little bit. Right now, it's really just up to. See, because Bloodlock sit playing on that soldier, if he, he you know, can't test them as chain, but chainsaw can. But once again, Bloodlock can't really get assistance if he holds a high ground without dropping down. So I, I still think that this is a favorable matchup for Big Doge because Big Doge can just storm in there and shred through Just Broken's health, and then play behind that their Ramrock shield and heal up, and then go in once again. Take it slow. 
One common mistake people do is like after a pick immediately rush in. Like so after the first kill immediately rush in. Because if you've got a pick, then that means no one on your team really lost their health and stuff. So that's a really good option to go with. But when you get the first kill, you could take the time to just regroup together. Well, that's a lot of damage under the L's given there. Got trapped as Morlocks has clicked on his head. So he's rolling in for good hood. Yeah, and they have taken down Hannah Song's Roadhog, so that is going to be a long walk back for that Roadhog. Could give them a window, but yeah, with Chainsaw not having a mech though, he's going to delay their next push. I thought I was out, but I'm back. So. <laughs> yeah, so it would seem. You wouldn't happen to have anything on early tomorrow by any uh, chance. Yeah, I do. I have to get up in roughly five hours. <laughs> You should probably consider going to bed then, my friend. I uh, really should, but uh, <laughs> I mean, this is roughly the time I've been staying up for our previous game, so... The Overwatch is just too good to go to bed. Oh, and not a lot already. First kill does go into Zafoon, so that's a big... Song has big song is taken down. And Song as well, that is the two main sources of the Brutal. Oh, but that's a smash shadow, though, that's going to... I don't know if the damage is there to properly follow it up, but uh, here comes the attack visor, let's see. So far things are stabilizing, yes. They may have Look, just... They might have just stabilized themselves. Oh my god. Probably didn't need more ult so, at the end there. Could have saved that for next fight, but... Oh, oh. What a shadow cut out just broken. Yeah, that's... Just... Yeah, that, that was incredible. And but even more uh, so, why did Victor not commit support ults? They had, they had both support ults right there, so... Or at least they had both support ults now. Maybe not there. I don't think they've used either of them yet, so they should have had them both, but, uh... Yeah. But now we have Big Dodge coming into this, close to the 5 ops, so... Ooh, Ram misses the charge, that's going to get punished. Where well, 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 is there, countered by... Oh, it's another... Yeah. <laughs> Kills are traded, although... Hannah's only not in a really good position right now. Oh, wait, but he's going for the one with Ram or... Well, I'll just take it down, Ram gets traded by Hannah's song. There's the grab though. Oh, and there's the pulse on the follow it up. Oh wow, that's... And what just happened there? Well, oh, but most we've, we've, always heard, we've always heard about pulse bombs being thrown into grabs. It's usually the grab and pulse bomb are the same thing. Oh, but, oh, oh that's a big know. charge being just coming back to the point. And once again, Big Doge is still holding onto their ults. For no apparent reason. Wow, I mean, after that, uh, that defense from Big Doge, I thought they had this one in the bag, but Brutahood are definitely uh, really making them work for it. We've got one minute left on the clock. Three ults, four ults from Big Doge, they really made this one the fighter. Remoroff's shadow must come in soon. Huge shadow comes in from Remoroff! Yeah, and Hanneson goes down early, oh, there goes Mark. Oh, he gets hooked out of it, no, that's it. That's gotta be it. Oh, surely that's it. I don't think they've got any tools. I don't think they've got any miracles yeah. left in the bag this time, and so that is going to go over to Big Doge, but what an incredible defense out of Brutalwood there. Definitely. There's some huge clutch moment in place. That's just really good to watch. And I think you're not able to sleep by now. <laughs> Here we go, let's see the ground time. This guy Here have, is... Uh... Here we have the 6 man ground on surge. That uh, match is saved at the point. Huge. But you know what, this game, it might Huge. Be, we have so many fights like the grab with like post palm, diva palm, and then Kraken solo. Holy crap, there's so many. And also like the Earth Shatter. And look at that, like 9, 29 elims, 29 elims, 32 elims on Chainsaw. It just shows that all of Brick Doge really were fighting together this time, killing the same targets. Um, sometimes but not, not so, but that's definitely one thing to see that the cards really make do show which players are doing that work. But, okay, uh, here's going to break. Oh, that's quick. <laughs> I mean, I think I really need to go, so... <laughs> yeah, I think you definitely need to go. <laughs> Better take care here from here, G-Fan. Thank you so much. God, play, uh, if you know G-Fan about what happened so far, play do the hashtag free G-Fan on the chat and make that into ready for everyone, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a legend. I tell you guys, he's a legend. Not even close. 
Anyway, I'll see you boys. Uh, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and I'm going to either be real disappointed or real <laughs> relieved that I actually get my money back. Don't, don't, don't lie to your phone. You know you're going to be watching on your phone when you go to bed. <laughs> I hope not. He, was, he hadn't thought of that until now. <laughs> okay, it's actually a bit late. Bye-bye. See ya. All right. So next we will be heading over to Watchpoint Gibraltar after the teams have had a bit of a break. And uh, that's uh, definitely going to see a change in comps because with all the high ground that Gibraltar has, uh, this sort of tank-heavy lineup isn't really going to be particularly viable. Uh, we can expect to see some Widowmakers coming out as well. So that's going to be a complete change of pace from what we've seen so far. And, uh, yeah, we'll get to see what else it is these teams can do in this final. Yeah, that's right. We, we might see Widowmakers, we might see Sombra, we might see there's, you know, there's plenty of different different options as well. Both teams could run in this uh, in Watchpoint Gibraltar. So. Yeah, it's, Genji, uh, another strong pick as well. Because, um, again, that verticality is very important. And uh, I do know the Ellis Given plays a very strong Genji. Well, I don't think we'll be seeing Big Doge running their uh, running their quad tank or triple tank on this, as they've been able to do on the previous maps, which will be a bit of a change, but... Uh... I mean that's that's really what they've been working with at the moment, and it's been running, it's been going extremely well for them. Yeah, well, it, it is definitely something they've practiced a lot of, but at the same time, uh, the Ellis Given and Cheetah uh, are very used to playing together and play a very strong Tracer Genji dive together. So, um, yeah, just because they're not able to run that quad tank doesn't mean that uh, the struggles are over by any means. No, I don't think so. So, okay, everyone was asking about the MVP player, how we're going to choose them. Okay, so at the first thing, we were thinking about like picking one person from like, because we all agree that, you know, there's some practical part about like picking the MVP player of the match. However, this time will be a bit, uh, a bit different. It's going to be like, we're going to pick the MVP who stand up from each team. So at the final, they're going to be because they are all improving in like you can tell after like seven week and this is the week A now. So come out to like this day, they did a lot of work for that. So it's gonna be fair to pick in both them. And those money for the donation, we thank you everyone for doing donation for us. We're gonna share that between uh for it's gonna be like for the winner team. And there's gonna be a part of that going to the MVP player. That's how the thing gonna be go look like for that. Um, so the part of this whole tournament is going to be like the sponsor is going to be like from our community. So once again, Mikema, thank you everyone so much for putting a lot of effort going to this day to go into this pond. So all of this one like coming from us just a hobby and a dream and now it's finally happening and going to run final. I'm sure no one more happy than me can say this is the best thing we're watching at the moment. Also, thank you to the cast that coming here, everyone who not really the professional, but they try to be the best one. And it's stayed good for long, ages ago. So, that's all, that's all we're going to say, and thank you everyone. For the next break, we will talk about something else, if you guys want to bring it down. For now, let's just chill and calm on the left for the game. Okay, um, anyone want to say about this map? I think you guys already discussion about it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's much more we can really cover until we start to see what the teams uh, actually bring out. Um, and you can talk about who, who we think uh, MVPs are so far. I mean, definitely the Owls given coming in clutch on on last map on Hanamura with his grabs, and then in the previous match uh, with his yeah. free and, the, and even before then with his junk rat. Really yeah, I think he is at the moment uh, definitely out in front for the big doge. Uh, I think for the, the Brutal Hood, uh, it's probably Bloodlock at this stage, yeah. um, who's 
yeah, been picking up some. Well, either Bloodlock or Zafirn, actually. Zafirn has been going off pretty big as well, and a lot of those... Uh, a lot of those last second miracles that the Brotherhood have been able to pull out have actually been Zafirns, so... Maybe yeah, a little this, this, trace play, this trace play has been quite impressive, and his pulse wants have been doing work as well on the back line. He's been getting picks with Yeah, them. I mean, getting getting a three kill pulse bomb off someone else's, off the enemy team's grav is, uh, that's pretty, pretty, yep. almost <laughs> unheard of, really. <laughs> They're all just awesome. Yeah, look, I mean, it works, it works. Yeah. Go. So, so we'll probably be expecting, yep, Kimmer. No, I'm just gonna about to say something again. Welcome to Watch Point to Road Time. This map, oh wow, it's one of the boss thing we always say. It's look easy to push in the payload, but it's not gonna be easy to make the payload go to destination. Anyway, wish the best to the team. And once again, I'm gonna leave it here for Paranut and Ice Intake, the real caster. G fan leave it up, maybe for sleeping. <laughs> okay, we'll be play. back, you wait. <laughs> oh, well, we don't know yet, but I just say, if he come out, we just give him out. Come on, man, you need to sleep. It's, it's like 1 p.m. One for you, 1 a.m. for you. 1 a.m., yeah. Anyway, okay. guys, have fun. Here's a match. Thanks, Gamer. So, we're uh, going to be seeing Cheetah's Widowmaker coming Ooh. out. Ooh. And, uh, oh yeah, it looks like they might be running the double sniper. The other's given uh, maybe like, just... I feel like this might have been... It might be a bit of a troll at the moment. Well, uh, you never know. I, I don't know. We've definitely seen him run the Hanzo before. If nothing else, he may just throw out that recon arrow and then swap up. I doubt he's going to be playing Anna. Um, <laughs> yeah, triple support I don't think is in the current meta, but you never know. Maybe maybe Big Doja starting something else. But, uh, it looks like we'll have the Widow v Widow matchup, which will be very interesting between Bloodlock and Cheetah. See who comes on top on that. Yeah, now Bloodlock. I oh, don't know. I was going to say hasn't played a lot of hit scan tonight, but then again, he was just on that uh, soldier, so maybe I should there pay more go. attention. Alice given <laughs> switching on to Genji. Onto his time. Genji. Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right, so they're just going to be starting off with a bit of poke. Alice trying to get his charge up, diving high ground. Oh, and Bloodlock does get the early, early pick on the Cheetah there. Um, Already showing who's boss on the Widow battle. With the first pick. And they're just going to be regrouping here. Yeah. Try to get the Widow back for the next fight. Yep, all um, have baited out a bit of a dive there. And, uh, oh, yep, punished as Alice Given goes down. And this is not good from Big Doge. Two, two early picks. Well, the car is still making its way slowly forwards because it's very hard to prevent it in this first corner. Yeah. So they will need to drop back. I feel like it's a, it's a very uh, slow attempt at a push, but they're just waiting to regroup there. And Cheetah gets yeah, the revenge cool. on Bloodlock there. And the Winston Discord are very low now. Equinox almost out of it. The Mercy's by itself. Looks like they're going to be diving here next, no? Oh, and here comes the blade, and uh, yeah, sure enough, Mark goes out very early there, and goes deep, picking up Anna Song, who is on the Anna now, they've, uh... And again, that was just, Yeah, they've, they've swapped uh, roles there, Equinox now playing uh, D.Va and Anna Song on the support, so... And again, the Alice Gibbon showing why he's uh, MVP so far. That play getting massive value with those fights. I, I, I've been, I have personally been on the wrong end of Alice Gibbon's blades, and uh, <laughs> he is quite dangerous with them. Yeah. And Widow, Ooh, Widow yeah. looks like going to get a massive no stagger here if Winston will be able to confirm the kill down below. Yeah, and there goes the dive. Yeah, I mean, Cheetah has just got so much space right now. When you've got a good widow just sitting back at that distance, if your widow can't win that duel, it's very hard to do anything about it. So you got a lot of balls committed. We got uh, Jay using his mercy ult on the side of Big Doge, and, and that's right. That's uh, oh, that that, as well. Yeah, that uh, trams will pretty much negate out the uh, attack visor from Zafoon there. And sure enough. Brutto are committing a lot of ults to this fight, but they're not getting any value from it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That was a nano self-destruct. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a, a bit of a comms problem there. 
And that was good, and again, getting three picks towards the end of that fight, just securing it. There's no chance for the, the Brotherhood to come back in. Um, they do get a late stagger kill on the Cheetah there, but uh, Brotherhood have no ults to speak of right now, and uh, Big Doge, three ults up with Widow's Heights not far along either, so got a bit of an overwhelming ult advantage coming into this last leg. Yeah, you'll be looking for hours given to get huge value from that Genji Blade, especially with Mark having just used his trance. Oh, and, and Cheetah down. getting, yeah, early kill onto Savant's Genji, and taking up the position, and there's the Blade, straight onto Mark, and we'll pick up Anna as well. That's the, the back line completely cleaned up there. It's just going to see this cut roll almost all the way through to the goal. Yeah, Big Joe's just rolling along happily now. They still have an ult advantage. Ooh, Equinox just out by themselves. That's very unfortunate. That it's going to get staggered out there. And now they're in a very awkward position. And again, yeah, Cheetah has so much room at the back just to shoot away to pick. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I mean, just Broken goes up to contest the Cheetah, but that's going to mean that they've got very little to contest the cart there, although Equinox is back. So they do get Cheetah and get back on the cart. A few more kills and they might be able to stabilise, but here comes the Trance, which will uh, keep everything up, so... Kills still coming through very much in favour of Big Dogs. You may be able to do something with it. It's going to have to be a clutch ult. Ooh, Pulse Bomb does, yeah, Pulse Bomb very nice, but uh, they need a bit more than... Well, they got the tanks, but they need to get some of these squishies to stabilise here. Although we've just broken coming back in, I think they may be able to do it now. But Alice Gibbon pulls out the blade, and he is just going to slash away, gets two, gets three, he's going for more, Cheetah and he does it. Gets four, wow. and he's done it. Alice Gibbon has just pulled out his blade, and has just cleaned up. Everything that remained of the Brutal Goods there. Said, hey, we're, we're having a minute fight here. I think I might pull out my blade and finish it. And there you go. That's all, that's all they need. Yeah, it's, it's just Della's given with his blade out being pocketed by his mercy. And what can you do in the face of that? What can you do? Well, I think up until, uh, up until the end there, Big Doge were, were just steamrolling almost along, uh, yeah. along Blowlock. And then the stall came out and uh, stalled them off for a couple minutes. But really, the, the alt usage from... Big Doge has been really yeah. great. These their, 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 old, their old usage in general has been very good. The rotations they were getting on King's Row, where they just, every fight, they had two to three ults at the start of it and two to three ults at the end of it, and they just kept rotating really well. Yeah, um, they're, being, they're being very careful when they come at ults. They're not, they're not coming too much, and I feel like that, that's a slight problem with Brotherhood. They tend to spam ults. They just commit to a fight, and... Uh, and yeah, I mean, their, their comms are definitely a bit, um, a bit lacking on this one. There were a few, yeah, a few mistakes being made. I mean, committing Nano onto a Diva just as she's hitting self-destruct, or committing a self-destruct right after you get Nano. I don't know which order it happened, but uh, probably one of the most unfortunate Nanos that you can yeah, have. And there's a lot of different unfortunate Nanos. I got was playing on my uh, gold smurf earlier today and got a, uh, a viewing of all the various questionable Anna <laughs> alts on one game as uh, Anna, yes. Anna nanoed the Tracer and then nanoed the Lucio. It's like, why? But yeah, anyway, Hunter, it's... Hunter was on Sombra for a second there. I remember uh, a couple of weeks ago, all clocks pulled out the Sombra and actually beat Big Doge on this map, but it doesn't look like they're going to be sticking one. with that. Attackers incoming. They're going to be going for the double sniper Stop play. Yeah. Yeah, will Hannah Song be staying on the Hanzo? No, that's just the scanning arrow. So she is going over to the Sombra. Alright, well, this should be interesting. See how those nurse players. Bloodlock looking for an early Ooh, hit here. Early rockets on the mark brings him quite low. But uh, getting hit healed up there. Oh, Mark again in a lot of trouble. He's taking a lot of damage on the Zenyatta. That was, uh, sorry, Just Broken comes in pretty much alone, oh, but uh, Bloodlock. It, yeah, it gives Bloodlock the space he needs. And then Jay just barely gets the res on the Cheetah, but uh, Cheetah now going to have to run back to his team. Does manage to get back, and Just Broken going down should give Big Doge a chance to stabilize here. Ramdor yeah, getting ready to pounce onto Bloodlock. Unfortunately, he suddenly yeah. needs to come back. No, they're resetting, I think. Unfortunately, again from Brutahood there, it was a bit of a overcommitment from the Winston. 
And they're pushing that with five people because the Winston's still respawning back and this isn't looking so good. Well, it's creating a lot of space for Bloodlock to get those picks. Um, Although, Ella's given dust. Yeah, Ella's given dust. Yeah, Ella's given dust. Yeah, Ella's given dust. Yeah, Ella's that will be a reset. But they did manage to bait out the Mercy off for that fight. So, now, uh... Ooh, just broken very low there. Don't mind me. Getting healed up. So they'll be looking for the EMP next fight here. On the song. She's on the high ground. There it is, and then she just picked up both tanks and the Mercy and the Zenyatta, although Zen has managed to... There we go. Almost survived through the entire EMP. Big, like, big self-destruct there. But Mercy is still hacked, she wasn't able to get that Riz off, Hung's been on her. And also they're good at they've, they've managed to get the card across the line and all the chaos. And uh, kills, yeah, coming, yeah, now coming through even further. Bit, rolling through. Yeah, I mean that, that was a bit of a positioning error on the, error on the part of Big Doge, they should have been able to recover that. And they should have known the Sombra was coming, they were all grouped really close together with the uh, triple... I think perhaps they weren't expecting Sombra to come in over the top like that. Yeah. And now taking up a lot of space here on the second point as the uh, cart slowly I'm makes its way around. I'm out of here. Ooh, Winston in very deep there though. No just broken, almost down, puts himself in a very dangerous oh. spot, just barely manages to get How out. How much health does that, does that monkey have? 40 HP. And Safoon gets taken down as the cart rolls into its final stage. Just broken again, diving in extremely deep when they're already Yeah, he's, down. he's jumping. He's jumping in very deep by himself, uh, and that's not really. I suppose he's he is the only. He's the only. Well, he's solo he's tanking, only, yeah. so I suppose. Wow. Yeah. Can't really do uh, much. Can't use. really do much. No, he, but even then, he is. He's putting himself at a lot of risk, but at the same time, half the time he's getting away with it. And if he gets away with it, he's creating space. If he doesn't, he's feeding, and that's the line that all Winston's tread. <laughs> and again, they're going to be relying on the EMP, I think, to try to win the fight. But on the side of Big Doge, they have four big ults coming up, so... Yeah, so almost is. five. They should have... They should have that self-destruct up, and the other's given... The has been caught completely off guard by the Ooh, That's a good start. With Zen down as well, although they do trade the Sombra. This Barkin is actually done. Ooh, ooh, well. Jay pulls out well. the Valkyrie, but gets stuffed out immediately. This could very well be it. And it's just Chainsaw on the point now, and Chainsaw being DMEC, you should see this roll through. Cheetah got caught completely off guard there by just Barkin. He dived up, took him off, then flowed onto the Mercy, who was hacked and couldn't fly away. He got two huge picks that fight, so I guess redeeming himself a little bit for his uh, own commitment, but uh, paid off in that fight. But now he's overcommitting really hard here. He's looking for the push. He's got his ult though if he wants to get out. Yeah, I think. Mean, oh, he doesn't even need it. He does manage to get out, although, and yeah, Sombra translocating back as well. So they are getting away with a lot right now, actually. But I suppose at the same time, there's. No, well, actually, no, they. Cheetah should be able to punish fairly well, but. Uh... Yeah, he's only going to get one. Yeah, and a chance. Because that does their support ops on the side of Brotherhood. Oh, wow, they really do need to uh, clash yeah, that. Uh, those, those comps aren't looking so flash right now. But that was given, did come out as Genji Blade towards the end of the fight. Maybe it wasn't needed, so I think the trance and the, and the beat will use, uh, will use his value. Well, yes and no, because. Big Doge still have both supports up, and this is probably the easiest part of the map to stabilize this corner yeah. here. So they need to break through with the support ult advantage overwhelmingly in favor of Big Doge. It could take a couple of pushes for them to get the cart moving again. And Hunter Song positioning herself, and uh. Yeah, that said, it could just be one big EMP that catches both of them and yeah, crack right up. Well, this gets and both tanks and uh, well, doesn't get the Zen though, so Zen, yeah. yeah. So Zen's just able to negate yeah. all that damage. Yeah, that tax site's not doing much and uh, they well, Chainsaw going low and yeah, Chainsaw gets DMX, this is still an opening. And uh, L is given caught out of position as well, the kills are definitely coming through in favour 
of the Brutahood here now. And Ram caught in the front line very low. Valkyrie gets committed, but uh, too late to save Ram as this fight continues to push through. And Bloodlock here ha now has a lot of space in the middle with Soldier up top of her. And the cast is rolling in. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Here comes Blade from Ella Gibbon trying to save it. Save Blade and stop the struggle. Oh, it's a late oh, EMP though. And uh, that actually may be enough. Looking at it, they've got to finish the tank. And yeah, with that tank, fi tank visor coming in as well, uh, that card's going to roll through. So a minute twenty-five still on the clock. So the Sombra are definitely working out there for uh, for the Brotherhood, really. Yeah, I mean, it, it is hard to play against a good Sombra at the moment with how powerful she is, and uh, no one's really quite figured out the best way to deal with it. Mm. Even contenders, I think, it was the first week or last week where they were using Sombra, and uh, there were a couple teams who were daring enough to play her, but they didn't really know what they were doing, I think, completely with the counters. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Sombra has been a very niche pick for a long time, um, and with her changes, her playstyle has changed significantly as well. Now able to get a lot more damage into people if she can get into the back line, and she will get into the back line. It's about how quickly you can respond and shut her down. Attackers incoming in we'll be seeing... Uh, oh, so they're going to be playing Sombra again? Yeah. Well, they are on the attack again because they've only got a minute 25 to uh, Big Doge's 3 minutes 17. So they'll be looking to just uh, power through again. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, neither team is going to be changing up their comp. So it's just going to be more of the same and it's going to come down to who executes it better. And Brother is still keeping up the solo tank comp with the 3 DPS. Interesting selection. Well, it does mean that they're putting out so much damage that it can be very difficult to deal with. Uh, I think if they just cleaned up their toms a bit and tightened it up, all it's a good it jump. Oh, though, look at that, just broke yeah. all by himself. He's got no one else to die. Yeah, him. and Cheetah takes down uh, Bloodlock as well, so that's... And Zafoon looking like he's about to get staggered by Ellis Gibbon, and yep, there it is. Mark gets pushed off the edge of the cloth by Chainsaw. So very difficult with Just Broken here, having to pick his engagements very carefully. Yeah, so I mean, what Big Doge really need to do is just make sure that uh, when when Just Broken's jumping in, the Cheetah's in a position to punish that Winston. Um, because if you can get you know, the Soldier Fire coming onto that at the same time as D.Va doing a counter-engage onto him, he's just going to drop very quickly every time. And... Uh, Ooh. Ooh, and Bloodlock just barely beating Ellis Given, who is quite low there, but uh, he's going to keep pushing through, and he's pulled out his blade, and yeah, it does look like we win this right. fight here. Sombra might have a chance to touch the point. So, uh, no, nah, and she goes down, yeah. so that's going to be a uh, quite strong first point hold there. By the Big Doge, it's going to be quite difficult for the Brutalhood to hold that for three minutes, but... Yeah. Uh, We've seen Stranger Things. Yep. So, uh, we, we've yeah, seen we've... Tracer Pulse Bomb and he need to grab. <laughs> so, you know, what happens, happens. You think you think they might pull out a cheese strat here or are they going to stick to their guns and try try Wither of the Storm for three minutes with a dive comp? Well, the problem with a lot of cheese comps is that they all tend to be very vulnerable to one specific thing. So, yeah. um, you'd, you'd expect if they do pull out some sort of cheese that Big Doge have enough time to work out what it is, find its weakness and exploit it. Oh, you can say that in a different way. If you get a good cheese, then you need a, like, a good uh, fire to like, you know, burn the cheese out because it takes time, you know, going to the liquid. <laughs> Italian cheese is a recommendation. <laughs> uh, we don't actually have an Italian Overwatch hero yet. yet. Uh, yeah, I couldn't mention one. Uh, we've got we've got French cheese, but Widowmaker's not so. Uh, not well, she's not so much a cheese pick as a skill pick. And, yeah, uh, skill pick. We don't, we don't have uh, we don't have robot cheese, so Bastion's not on there. But, uh, Five, looks like they're cheese. Are oh, they going to be playing a <laughs> bit of anti-dive here from Brotherhood, Theorissa and Hogpick? Stop 
Scanning arrow thrown out by the elves given before swapping over to that Genji. So here we go, it's just gonna be a bit of a poke fest. Yeah, that Orisa shield is going to make it very hard for Cheetah to get uh, any sort of line of fire, but just broken has been poking his head through his barrier, so that is something you have to watch out for. A good widow can notice that and explode it. But Jay going down early there. Oh, but a counter trade on the mark as well. That's still anyone's fight now. But uh, both teams backing off that card because it's a very dangerous low ground position there. So that is a very great place for the card to be stopped for the Brutalhood now mm. uh, because it does make it very hard for uh, Big Doge to get it going again safely. I was given looking to come in over the top. Oh, gets spotted out and taken down. And so this on the high ground be... contested here, looking to uh, just just piss the widow so she can't get any picks. Oh, and Zafoon so gets cheater as well as Bloodlock takes down Ram the Rock, so that'll be another reset from the big doge. Can they stagger out some more kills here? It does look like Ram might get caught. No, he does manage to get away, but they ooh. Chasing for the DMAC on Chainsaw, but I think they need to back off now. And a song in a very dangerous yeah, position there, yeah. himself. Um, but uh, doesn't matter. everyone does manage to retreat in good order. And we're going to have ultimates starting to come online very soon. So Cheetah poking over the top as Alice Given looks to come in. He hasn't managed to make a lot. He's been... Oh, done early kill on the Equinox. Oh, yeah, the early, yeah, early kill from both of those. All the kills coming through for Big Doge here. And uh, that demon self struck over the top is going to pick up anything? No, but it doesn't matter because it's just Blowlock oh, oh, and Hannah Song, and another on the card, and that's it. it. That is the end of that one right there. Oof. Very, very good aggression coming in there from the others, given starting off that fight with two picks, and that just and all... I think. I think is this the third game? Oh, this, yeah, this is his blade at the end. Oh, was he. Is he... No, he wasn't ammo for it. No, that's just. It's just pure skill. Wow. Yeah, that is, uh... Third enough six blades. Yeah, that's, that's decent. That's two kills a blade and then some, so... That's all right. They were, they were happy with that. Get value from, but... You know, it's the ones, it's the ones that you do get value from that count, and uh... Well, it's, it's a good number, regardless. If, you, if you're getting slightly more than two kills per blade, that's a good place to be. Mm. Especially with those ones when you get six or seven, it's even not seven. When you get five or six, it's even better. But, uh, yeah, so big doge with a with a bit of a lead now. Yeah, pulling ahead uh, three one, which uh, will put it up to match point. Mm. So this will be like the third uh, break, like ten minutes. Oh, they want to go ahead. Yep, they will have gone. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Everyone ready for this one? I'm totally ready. Yeah, ready to get into some 2CP action on Temple of the Moon. That's good. Are we going to only call Temple of the Moon? Oh, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see if we uh, manage to see second point on this one, as Hanamura was fought entirely around that point out. Nope, we've had an early pause. Called for already. Oh, and never mind. Reporting for trolling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. This might be the last game, maybe, but maybe like a turn reverse sweep for Brotherhood. Let's oh, just yeah. support both in the best one and hope that one come true for them. So, what do we expect to see here on this map? Dive? Dive is looking good. Well, this again, this is a map that uh, there are a lot of different ways to play it. Um, especially the defenders. There's so many different viable defenses for this one. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what does get pulled out. And uh, it looks like uh, perhaps the Brotherhood still trying to decide how they want to run this. Yeah, got a bit of a... Uh, whereas... Yeah, so it looks like we, we can probably expect to see a Dive plus Widow from Big Doge again, because you've got that wonderful sight line down onto point A. Um, and again, the verticality that the Genji can give you is quite powerful. It looks like they're going to go uh, solo tanking again. 
uh, Brotherhood was just broken. Well, we've seen Equinox on we've seen Equinox on the Diva. We haven't seen Hannah's song playing DPS though. That's well, Sombra I suppose counts as DPS now, but I hope I hope Mark's not yeah. solo Helen, but yeah, no. It's um, yep, um three heroes from uh, the Brotherhood in spawn, man. Yeah, the 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 picks were so late, but fortunately they get an early pick. Uh, oh yeah, that's how's even this going to get res? But that will slow down and buy some time for them to... They have no shield here to protect from the Widow. She gets up top and starts to, starts to pick off the Bloodlock. Yeah, so. it's all on Bloodlock to keep Cheetah under control, which is a lot of pressure. running through the right. Ooh, and, and, and just, just Broken, broken has just jumped into the whole team by himself. Right, that is... That is not a there's idea. only one way that's going to end, and that is going to see a snowball through onto this one. Chainsaw yeah. picks up Mark. And uh, it's only going to be a matter of time until Equinox gets taken out as well. Although they do get Hanos on first. Equinox desperately trying to stay alive, but uh, yeah, it was only a matter of time once your only tank goes down. To initiate that fight there. Not yeah, sure, that's... Uh, that was... Yeah, like, yeah, no one's going to be able to follow up on it. And you're the only tank. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're better than this. Maybe maybe they just wanted to uh, go to second point, you know? Stronger point. They were, they were ready for the hole. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if, you want to, if you want to sit on the second point, you might as well start there and not give any help charge. <laughs> Alright, so they decided uh, to... Saffoon had a position there, but uh, it doesn't look like he might get away with it. Yep, he picks up the Mega and gets back safely. And now he's getting here, looking, looking to get his Genji ult up. Knowing that Mark probably won't have his Genji ult, but it doesn't even... Oh! Pull. And we have a probably a DC pause. Well, how? Yeah. And yes, oh, there by, it is. By the way, Spock, um, I think you just did put it on the big call. It's say like grand final. Yeah. Just check it out. <laughs> oh, gee, man. And does everyone know what happened? Okay, so this must be a DC. Yep. Uh, just broken on the side of Brotherhood, unfortunately, is DC'd. My I think DC'd 60% of his once to not, unfortunately, yeah, so he's not going to get that. That's going to be all gone, uh, and he's going to change the run up before he does. Oh, he changed to run up? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, well, he's going to get, yeah, it's not that bad. He's going to lose uh, much in the way of all charge, but he is going to be well out of position yes, when he and, comes back in. And looking at it, I feel like once it unpauses, we're going to have Alpop, Genji Blade, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be all she wrote. Yeah, that is, uh, I mean, yeah, Hannah Song is in the process of, uh, he's already at, she's already out of mech and being worn, worn down, so there's no tanks to speak of for the defense, so that blade is just going to be shredding through squishy targets. Well, let's see, uh, let's see how accurate our predictions are. <laughs> That's going to get on pause. So, yeah, in literally, if you got DC like this, and this is the town of the second pawn got capturing... Well, that's not a good thing at all. Unlucky for that. Anyway, he's going to drag and play. He's about, he's about to do it. So, this might be a big play, or maybe not. I think, yeah, you just pull the dragon blade out. You commit your self destruct because they've got no tanks up. Uh, self destruct will zone people into tight places where the dragon blade can absolutely clean up. Should be an easy take for Big Doge, and they've got all the time in the world to uh, plan their plays. So. And of course, they're also in comms thinking about this at the moment, yeah, so they've got like, an yeah. amount of time to plan the playthrough, so... Yeah, they, they absolutely will be deciding what they want to do to close this fight out, and uh, I don't think that uh, Brutal would really have any tools available to try and prevent that. Maybe Just Broken was, uh, was lagging really hard on that first push. Maybe that's why why he dived accidentally. Yeah, he he meant to he meant to dive to the right, but unfortunately ended up in the middle of the enemy team. I think looking on the part of the Brutalhood, I suppose the only advantage they have here is each of their players all have a different perspective of what they can see. So <laughs> Equinox yep, yep. can be telling Bloodlock that, by the way, there's a Mercy right behind you. If you just 
whirl on her instantly, you might be able to quickly get her. And uh, Zafun is in position to potentially quickly follow up on that as well. Uh, Jay, I think, has just popped the Velk, though. So that's going to be a hard target to catch. I can't even see Blah Block at the moment. My screen is <laughs> so I was focused. Yeah, so at the moment, Equinox is on the point, Bloodlock is on the bridge leading to point, and oh, yeah. Zafun's Genji is just over to the, uh, what do you call it, the left or right side of the point, I suppose it depends on your perspective, but uh, the sort of the more ruined side as opposed to the cave side yeah. of the point there. And, <laughs> oh, excuse me. And still waiting for Just Broken to reconnect now as uh, he's the ball's done. Uh, it's getting a bit. It's getting, a bit, uh, it's it's getting close. He's got about by. another 90 seconds to make it back before the team's going to be forced to fight 5v6, which uh, would be a very unfortunate way for this to end. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe a miracle will happen. Maybe a bloodlock will pull up some huge clothes. It's never know. Oh, uh, it does look him. like, yeah, it does look like he's on his way back, so they at least won't have to uh, finish out this map 5v6. Because that's just, given how close everything's been so far... Um, that would be a shame. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think maybe when he comes back in, he switches uh, instantly to stall, knowing what what's about to happen? If they have a bit of a bit of a take on what the enemy alts have been up. I mean, they saw List given the kill feed a couple times on the first attack through, so surely by now they know he's at least close, or even has Genji Blade. So maybe they just want to instantly pick for stall here and try try get some extra time on the clock. Yeah, I think it's their best bet. Um, it's going to be very hard to bring this one back uh, without getting some quick picks. Um, like Cheetah being down is a great advantage at least, but uh, yeah, there's still going to be a lot of... There's a lot to overcome here, so... Well, it looks like he's joined back in the match, so it shouldn't be too long. Had a solid five minute break for the teams to analyze where they're at, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, here we go. Good. And there's the blade. Is blade uh -huh. instantly, taking out Hanasong. Taking out Equinox. The Foon. Last one left on the point. And uh, Bloodlock making his way back around just broken, coming back on the Winston. Um, yeah, he didn't get as much from the blade as I thought yeah, he would. He, he didn't get the Foon, and the Foon's going to pay him back by killing another nope. dude. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's a pause from, right from the other side now. Yep. <laughs> But uh, I don't think that the blade went as well as we might have thought. But uh, I mean, you got yeah. some with it, but Safoon uh, managed to reflect and get away. And wasn't picked off after. Yeah, well, as I said, I would have committed the, the Diva Bomb there as well, knowing mm. that their tanks are not able to zone it out, and that would have forced the Squishies to gather in those tight places where they're safe from the Diva Bomb to just allow the blade to cleave them up, so... Oh, and there goes uh, Just Broken again, unfortunately. Just going to be the game, so... Uh, oof, 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 yeah. Solid oof. So, we get ready up, right, Kemo? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 immediately yeah, yeah, big yeah. doge call ready to... Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you ready up? That's right, Kemo? Kemo, it's... Yep, call it. It's five minutes. After six, five minutes, we come Unfortunately, yeah. we're going to have to play this one out with five people. The remainder of this. They look like they may be able to stabilize here. Oh, and the uh, cheetah is cheetah, back. Yeah, uh, the uh, right now. JP going down to Equinox so and all of the food's blade as well. It yeah. does look like, yep, they have. Yeah, they've they've managed to stabilize here, but for how long is another matter because they are now having to play five v six. Yeah, unfortunately, rules are rules even in the grand final. So once the five minutes up, you right. have to play on. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's very unfortunate when everything has been so close so far, but uh, that's sort of how it is, unfortunately. 
and Chainsaw looking like they're looking for a big demon on here. Now they have walls up as well. Cheetah looking for an initial pick. Can't find it. Yeah, and that, I think Equinox probably needed to swap Hero because now they don't have any shield to protect them from that uh, self-destruct. Well, I suppose they do have the May Wall. But uh, May is dead, so May is dead. There's no more. It's a 64 advantage in favour of Big Doge. And Bloodlock getting pressured at the back here. He's yeah. not going to be able to get his ult off. They are taking a long time to get the kills though, which is... and they do have the mail coming up. Oh, and here comes Zell's given again though. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, oh, Amazon getting cut down before they can commit the mail. That should be and the point. Bloodlock may be able to. Oh, he's going to get picked away. No. No touchy for you. It's a two to make off, it off, but, uh, no, that's it. Good zoning ult with, uh, Chainsaw. Denying them point, so... There you go. Score. Zip to two. Switching sides. So Brotherhood might have to reassess what they're going to play here if they're doing it with five people. I'm not sure what the most effective uh, comp would be for five people, but uh, I'm sure we'll try to pull something out. Can we get medical pause time here? Uh, Mark trying to pull out some strings, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, look, if, if that were really genuinely the case, sure, but uh, I feel like that's... Perhaps like he not. probably wouldn't be talking on his keyboard if he was bleeding out in real life, but uh, unfortunately, they're gonna have to continue with the five v six. And I'm hoping they don't uh, they don't decide to throw the match by playing with the Symmetron attack. I mean, it's it's unlikely, but it's possible that they could push uh, Big Doge here if they save up their alts, they get some good usage. Yeah. So in terms of a five v six strat, uh, you probably want Widow because Widow. If you get the picks, she will equalize your man disadvantage. You just, you want to get the Widow, you want to get some picks, probably pocket the, the Widow with a Mercy and try and get the man advantage and then send in your team. Um, it looks like instead they're going to go for some nice robot cheese here with Bastion and the, uh, the Aerospec coming in. Okay, and that's... But uh, it's going to be very hard for them to set up, especially with the dive combo the big dude is running here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure there's an actual plan here. Which yeah, I think. Uh, fortunately, uh, I think they might have been tilted, and the uh, the yeah, that's yeah. just a shame to see. Like, they've been playing so well to throw it all away here. Well, I mean, <laughs> there's not much to commentate really. Uh, if they're yeah. going to be running Symmetra and Torb, but it's not off the Torb now. So, we uh, do have the Widowmaker from Hannah Song out, and uh, oh, just broken has made it back in. Back, so, we'll but yeah, I think I think that Doomfist Widow and just relying on trying to get the quick bigs to equalise is probably the way to go in that five v six environment. But they will have a main tank rejoining them shortly. Greetings. All right, so we've got a real cult now. Going to be playing a bit of dive, so now we can we can expect a real attempt. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Dodlock is already trapped, and that was yeah. Good. I think I think he that. needs to. I think he probably needs to get off the Doomfist anyway. Same so Farah Doomfist is a lot of front-loaded damage, but not a lot of cleanup. So you really oh. want to be running. Yeah, you know, one of one of those heroes, we were heroes that can clean up low your point targets as well, because uh, otherwise you need to hit those rockets or those doomfist abilities. And there's quite no, a lot. No, they of, are sticking with it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, because they are uh, they fit into into big Doge, the old advantage is on the side of Doge at the moment. But they're diving in. Ella's given manages yeah. to pick up doomfist. She uh, pops tack visor. And yeah, that should be a quick fight clean up there, and sure enough. And Brotherhood, Brotherhood not really close to any of their, their ults yet. They have a trance coming up, but that's really about it. 
Yeah, well, it's it's a hard place to be in psychologically. Um, yeah. And then you're going to switch back to the Bastion strat. So Okay, double shield with the Bastion, maybe. Yeah. And Bloodline so try and switch all their way through. Down, so I think they may be slightly tilted, but... Uh, Unfortunately, they're going to try to push it through, though. But, uh, oh, I love it. It's just a oh, massive huge. fire. And uh, I think that might be play of the game number five right there. Or yeah. however many he's gotten. Certainly been pretty close to that. Um, yeah, with one minute left on the clock, and uh, it doesn't look like we're seeing any... I don't know, just broken, going over to the Widow's side. I think at this point they just fully tilted to the yeah. Bloodlock building his target spawn, not even attempting to go on point, but there's the perk. Uh, and then that's 5v5. Five 5v5. Five. Five. <laughs> and there's the message. The, I think the worst part is that there are definitely some people who are still putting in work. Yeah, I mean, just broken is just Yeah, just broken. Yeah, I, I, I assume the Widow pick was just a throw choice because it's your main tank going over in the Widow, but just broken has been putting down the damage. Yeah. But unfortunately, other members of the team have uh, decided to really throw the game, I think, at this point. And well, yeah, comms, comms are all over the place here. Like, they're they not working together whatsoever. There is yeah. all over the place, and it's fairly easy for Big Doge to clean up here. So this will be an extremely unfortunate finish to the series. But, uh, yeah, uh, play Big Doge here, barring any superior miracle. Oh, no. He's just left the game. You can just unpause that. Yeah. No. So, uh, sad ending. Yeah. Uh, what can you do? And there you go. Big Doge will win Temple of Anubis and will take out the grand final. Yep. With the grand four final win. Line. Four one scoreline, absolutely. And here comes Els again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and this will be that. Get ready for a shot! That quadruple tie, quad kill tie. Yeah, picking off the Torbjorn at the end. Yeah, well. It's and, not for uh, like him, because, you know, anyway, Bru is Bru, and we just have to follow yeah. the uh, no, it's, uh, I mean, definitely Brotherhood towards the end when. Uh, when they got two picks with the widow, if they had a if they had a good dive comp, they could have taken advantage, but uh, they just decided not to. So, like, I mean, like, it's not even like something, you know, like disadvantage. Like, the, the, the tanks still come back even like on the second round, but you still have like two minutes left, which means you're still able to do some work around there. Imagine you capture the first one, you will get around like six minutes left, four minutes left, five minutes left for like the second point to do the work, and with that time, we're still able to do something, you know. Anyway, um, thing just happened, and once again, congratulations to Big Doe, uh, the big winner for today. Well, what a, what a marathon, hopefully, five games so far. Anyway, I will see classic Kong, you know, internet of, of Australia. <laughs> Not only the best thing, I know the feeling. There can't be, there can't be an Australian tournament without internet problems. Oh well, that's the thing man, anyway, so follow the thing, we're just gonna like just invite a couple of people coming for interview after the game, I'm gonna hang down there to get one of uh, from Big Doe and can maybe, let's see, Parlo, can you just jump down to Brotherhood to get anyone from there, at least we can have to talk, you know, just be relaxed and calm after the game. Look, I I don't know if we should have an interview with someone from Brotherhood right now. They uh, <laughs> do not seem to be in a particularly good state. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe we can if you drag one of us over there, we can see if anyone wants to to have an interview. I guess I would like to uh, bring Ice in there, come in at the peaceful person. Because I mean, this one it's just like. After all, it's for learning experience, it's nothing for like personal or something, you know? It's for yeah. education. Yeah. Okay, so I give you permission, Ace, you can just come in down there for Brotherhood, I will go into Big Dog. Yeah,
and so we're just uh yeah just waiting here unfortunately that last match really skewing uh a couple of things there and uh, i believe we've got equinox with us now how's it going team uh, um, hi, my dude. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So, do you want to start off with Brotherhood? Maybe we've got Equinox here. I won't. I won't. Nope. And we got. Oh, oh okay. What's happening? Oh, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> Let's go first okay. from uh, Brotherhood. Cause I yeah. So, so we got Equinox from Brotherhood. So, uh, barring barring the last map, which was very unfortunate circumstances. Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you think you did with those with those matches? With those matches. Um, what was the first one? That was a uh, Lee Jung Tower, wasn't it? Lee Jung yeah, Tower. Lee Jung Tower. Um, yeah. What is it? It's really. It was really hard for us because our main, our main support couldn't make it this time. Okay. Which is really unfortunate. So we had to have um, around three of us to flex around the characters that we can play, the heroes that we can play. Yeah. Uh, okay. So with, with um, Lee Jung Tao, I guess that was a tester as to how we were going to play against um, Big Doge in this one, because we were unable to do much practice before this, yeah. the, this week coming up to it. A lot of uh, things happened and all of that. So we weren't on, we didn't have the biggest high or the biggest morale coming up to this match. Um, but yeah, so control point, the very first one, for yeah. me, that was that was a really good match. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that point yeah, it was, was just flipping was. back and forth. You guys were just swapping junk rat tires. And, yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then the second one, we it was just really hard because we were just unsure which way we would go in the push. It was the team communication. Mm -hmm. um, everywhere we went, the team, the opposing team, was there behind us or around us or we're just getting crowded especially by the others given this given and whatever his name is yeah yeah um yeah he put a lot of pressure on us and it was really hard for us to counter him yeah and were you were you anticipating that uh big doge were going to play the triple tank and core tank like we saw on king's row and um yes well? we we did have we knew that they're going to do that uh because we have versed them especially with king's row yeah and uh, scrims and I think we had a proper match with them then uh, but um yeah we knew we knew they were gonna do that so yeah we're like okay straight away we'll put Jack Red in we'll try Reaper and stuff but um that was probably Kings Row is probably one of our most confident maps mm -hmm. Kings Row and Gibraltar even though we did um, lose Gibraltar and I had to switch to that's when I switched to off tank. Yeah. And yeah, you know, no, I we we didn't noticed have much that. of a warm up then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's that's usually one of our strongest maps, if you remember from last week's game. Mm. That one. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a very good performance across all of the maps, um, uh, barring Anubis, of course. Um, yeah. Very close games. I mean, that's. The defense on um, Hanamura, especially, like I'm, we're, we're looking at this coming into it. You guys have been full held um, at first. I need to for four minutes defend that first tick, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh yeah, big Doge, it's going to tank stack up. They'll just pull through and take it first point because you know, they won't be able to put up enough of defense yeah, before yeah. that tick's gone and then you beat them back wave after wave just and so many of those fights it looked like our oh, big doge have the advantage and then someone would just pull yeah. out a clutch alt and just completely flip the team fight and it just kept happening until finally you guys were just out of alts but yeah um, the end there um they had a better alt economy than we did especially their very last push i think they had about three or four alts just during that so up leading to that, we um, were using our ult, so then I guess they picked up on that and then just went all out on that last push. But yeah, that, we thought that was a, um, a really good match and we held that pretty well. Yeah, no, it was like, it wasn't even a case of overcommitting ults though. Like every ult that you guys committed was absolutely what you needed when you needed to flip that fight. Yeah. But uh, in the end, yeah, as the attackers, they're just able to eventually bank those up and uh, push it through. Yeah. 
Oh, All right, well, uh, thank you very much for coming in and giving us a good interview. Unfortunate circumstances, but nevertheless, you guys should be extremely proud of making it all the way to the grand final. And cool, thank you. Can I, get, um, can I get a few shout outs? They're right. Yeah, go for it. Cool. Um, especially to our main support, Piggy, who couldn't, uh, who's not with us for this finals. We really would have loved her to be there. Um, core cool member of the team. Uh, thanks to our coaches, even though they're not here today. Um, they've really helped us out and me in particular helped me improve as a player and everything. And of course, shout out to the KTV team. You guys are doing good. Well done. And yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. So I've got one last question. Uh, what sure. are the plans going forwards? Are you guys going to stay together as a team um, or are you going to go your own separate ways? Uh, and are people planning to try and, if they are going their separate ways, try and make their way onto teams and keep playing organised play? Um, I think a, a few of the members have already decided not to carry on. Um, okay. I think, especially for us, this has been quite exhausting. Yeah. And also, not. It's been great, but it hasn't actually been the best experience. Um, but I think, like personally, I'm going to continue organised play. Not too sure if that's with KTV or not. Um, but I'm going to continue playing. Uh, I have a feeling the Brutalhood may discontinue. Um, but yeah, we we actually haven't decided. We and we're not too sure exactly. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, thank you. Yeah, thank you all the best. Um, if people are planning to keep playing, I recommend to watch over tonight's thing. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, all the best and thanks for coming. Cool. Thank you very much for that. And I believe we have NRG here. You here? from yeah. Big Doge. So uh, the first question I just want to ask is that, that overtime push on King's Row where you guys were, were at zero, you, oh. had, you, you had fed a couple times in the first fights, you had L in the back just not really doing anything with his reprod in the, in the pocket. So I was going through your mind and how, how much of a reaction did you get when you pushed that through in overtime? Yeah. Well, we really have to give props to Brotherhood for King's Row. They had us really on the hit back foot pretty much the match and subsequent to the game, yeah, we were pretty much all yelling at each other, almost tilting <laughs> because, yeah, they played a really good game and our coach even came in and said, you know, they're just simply outplaying you. they got a way better team playing all that. So definitely props to Brotherhood for that. But, uh, yeah, on that last point, we kind of gave up almost. We were pushing that last corner onto the third point and I think it was uh, just me maybe or something on the car and... Um, yeah, over time, was just getting, like, litter and litter. And um, we just kind of lost all comms. It was kind of just seemed like we gave up all hope. But then um, the boys just started getting in the cart, started finding some picks, got some momentum, got the comms back. And I guess we just we found us and their um, footing, I guess. And this year, we just carried that through. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like a love story. I mean, like a sad story. Like that. <laughs> When the boy of you addressing that story about the pushing on the control is really like upsetting yeah. me. It was, yeah, um, we like we had a lot of problems that King came out because Brutal was just forcing us to make mistakes because their team play was simply just so much better than ours. I literally remember yelling at the team saying, you know, we're feeding too much round corners, we're not executing old combos better than they are. So they really played probably their best map on King's Row. Yeah, I mean, it was, we, we were commenting on the cast of the steps that, like, it looked like they had definitely gone, watched the VODs, they've seen you guys play your quad tank, yeah. and they've been working out how to beat it, and they absolutely managed it on King's Row. Yeah, they came out swinging pretty hard. They knew what we were going to do. We hadn't prepared too much, personally. I haven't even played Overwatch for a week and a half before this, but, um, yeah, no, we just put our fucking hearts on the field, play to fucking solve there. But yeah, I, I really don't think that the match score line was an accurate no, reflection of no, um, no, it absolutely the was difference not. between the teams. I think, I mean, it's probably like a well-known fact now, you know, we get crushed on the regular in scrims where you really just get stomped by these guys in scrims. But um, 
yeah, no, it's just I. They really. I just don't think the scoreline accurately reflects their ability as a team. We really respected them coming into this, and we would just like to, you know, say like, well, done. even even under the circumstances, just kind of want to let them know, like, yeah, we're unlucky with the DC, but um, just good on you for like not, you know, kind of getting too salty about it, not kind of demanding rematches or anything. We're just glad that you like copped it, good sportsmanship. Yeah. Um, what other what other highlights have we got to That's a one from uh Hanamura, is it? Um, how, did you, how how did you come up with dealing with the uh Sombra on because you've had problems with that? Oh, that's a good one, yeah. So, Sombra on Gibraltar. In our semi final match, the Sombra the EMP Sombra actually was um a really major problem for us. So we had to sit down a few days after that and say, you know, what are we gonna do? We really, this is our weak point. Developed kind of a few strategies, a few things. I think it ended up being for Gibraltar on defense. I was playing Zenyatta and Cheetah would be on Solid. We'd just kind of sit together. And our plan was just when the Sol- the Sombra would dive, I'd maybe try and sit back, make sure I get a trans off, make sure that we're discording the Sombra. And then once she translocates, following up the dive, trying to get that early pick, trying to get the early advantage. Um, we executed that a few times, probably not as much as we would like. But uh, we were pretty comfortable with that, and we were pretty happy with Gibraltar, um, how Gibraltar went. It's usually one of our very weakest maps, actually, so we were pretty happy with how we executed on that today. And, yeah, I think the boys were all really proud of themselves after that match. Yeah. yeah I think you dealt with it very well, and we could definitely see that uh, with the Xenot coming in after the Sombra had altered, showing, showing really good positioning with that. Yeah. It was huge. Yeah, that one on third where yeah, she got the front line, but yeah, yeah we you were actually, far enough back to counter trance into it. Yeah, we actually lost that fight as well. I had a good good yell at the boys after that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, right yeah, rightfully so. Yeah, try right, and knock yeah. some sense in them, get their head can get themselves to pull their heads in, yeah, because um had such a big goal, we pretty much exhausted their soldier out without losing um members and then we just couldn't find targets after that engagement, which was probably due to our comms, which are pretty consistently lacking actually but yeah we're glad we still picked up the result for that map even if it was a bit scrappy yeah so uh, let's just a uh, quick question so if you guy able to pick an mvp from your team who do you think uh i mean <laughs> you're probably on the spot uh, no energy, i'm just joking no? um yeah that guy's pretty good yeah. nah look it really is when it comes to big dojo, really, it's just a team effort, honestly. You know, you've got people like Liz who are, should I say, toxic maybe, and a bit of <laughs> arrogant perhaps. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you go, you know, you got Ram who came in. He's a, he was a silver level, silver bronze level tank man. He's now like almost reaching the diamond. He's progressed just so much. If you ask me, he's really earned the man of the series, to be honest. He's just shown such amounts of progression especially with his Reinhardt shadows, his Winston play. But, um, yeah, honestly, I can't, I can't talk about just one person every single... The others, given. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, every, every single person on that team has put in a lot of effort over the last few weeks to really get to where we are. Um, and, yeah, it's been really exhausting, but we're just glad that we're here now. Mm-hmm. And uh, looking forward, we're looking... Really um, positive, looking into some, into some other options. Yeah, so you guys are going into the uh, AAOL tournament uh, as it moves into Stage 2, I believe. Yeah, I believe Stage 2 sign up very soon. And they're actually, um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I don't know how well, no one's here to tell me now. Um, <laughs> when, you guys actually, there, when you guys come in there, when you guys come in there, you're going to have to deal with my It's, it's no there. smack talk, I promise. Um, I'll save that for later. Um, no, we're actually looking at uh, picking up Bloodlock from Ruderhood. He's consistently shown that he's a very high-level DPS, very underrated player. Yeah, I think, no. With the definitely. acquisition of him and Twinks as well from All Clock, I believe. They'll re- be replacing Cheetah and Liz because they will be continuing. Yeah, they'll, their, be, they'll be playing um, with their, their team, yeah. Team. And so the acquisition of those two DPS players, I think we can go... Very far in the AOL. We've been scrimming a lot of Masters teams, even a Contenders team, I believe, recently. We're really happy with how we're progressing as a team. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're just 
really looking forward to taking this further after KTV. Yeah, Congratulations, so Big Doge. Right. Well, it was good to be with you. Yeah, it was it was a great match. Yeah, we had us. It wasn't you know it wasn't easy. Even if it might have like scoreline might have said it was, but no, it really it really had us. It really had us worried. We were actually starting just tilting at each other to be honest. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. Yeah, well done to you boys as well. Can I do a few shout outs? Yep. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. All right, well, you can find me on Twitter at uh, <laughs> no way you. Whoa. Sometimes, not really, but whatever. Um, yeah, feel free to shout out what you're doing. Just feel free. I'd just like to give a massive, massive shout out, and I want someone to clip this because I want to shout out to him. That's a shout out to our coach, Yifang, or uh, otherwise known as Wifang, your band, your boosted. Um, <laughs> there's multiple aliases, but no, seriously, he is. For someone who has to manage a top 500 account and potentially contenders with some of the best players in Australia, he is putting an immense amount of his time balanced with uni and everything just to seriously coach us. He loves it. We can tell he loves it. And sometimes, you know, he gets hard on this, but, after, you know, looking back on it, we, we we can't be more grateful for him putting in the time and effort to go through the match with us to coach us. It's really been just you can't really compare it to anything, the amount of effort and time he's putting yeah, in. Yeah, so that's pretty quiet from here. Like, so massive shout out to him. He streams sometimes. No one watches though. Um, <laughs> oh wow! Big shout out to all of the big Doge boys who are none of them are from New South Wales machines. They're all de- degenerates, but uh, we won't talk about that. Um, <laughs> so big oh. shout out to the Adelaide boys, Castro, if you're watching, babe, I love you. Um, uh, no, just joking. Ah, uh, yeah, no, seriously, dog. Just joking around, bitch. Hey, this is shit. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Alright, thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy for that, eh? That's why I'm not left doing this. Oh my god. <laughs> so, for everyone, you think running a thing like this is look like pretty simple, but actually not because both teams they have to deal with different problems when they play the game. You know, like they have to worry about the time, they sometimes they worry about the internet. Yeah. So, that's kind of like a summer from tonight. It's yeah. pretty, it's pretty painful. I know that, but you know, we just have to make an example it's just the thing you have to be like so many times so yeah. when you go into a new tournament like contender or for division uh, aol yeah. they, they're gonna they're not gonna be like easy like us because we understand what you are doing we at least we get you guys some time but when they go in there the time for posting is totally different and they might not even have a post like if you got pc you have to play yeah so something like that i just want to let um just kind of like it up for sure. Um, okay, here's a big time. Picking the MVP. Holy crap. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, I mean, even even though in our GC uh, Ragnarok, I, I didn't know I didn't know how much of an improvement he'd made since uh, from silver and bronze. But my MVP still goes towards uh, Dales, given his DPS plays really with his ultimate economy. Oh, um, it's I'm sorry. sorry. I'm gonna yeah, we can go, but I mean, yeah, you know, he he played really well, and uh, yeah, he is. He's yeah, really he, a strong point of our team. He, he's kind of the rock, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I do have to agree and do have to give it to the others given tonight. Um, he's he's not always consistent in the tournament. We've had some weeks where he's just been too reckless, but tonight he was. But he's he has times where he gets a little cocky and does something very reckless and gets punished for it hard. But tonight he was generally pretty on point and he pulled out some very big plays there. So yeah. um, I do have to give tonight's MVP to the Alice Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's that's for the match. Um, I think he should able to see now Liz Kevin as a MVP player from this match one final. So congratulations to you, Easy Club. Someone just say that. What the hell? It's oh, not easy. Yeah. <laughs> Even the clap is easy, but not easy to make that one happening. Okay, ah, okay. So take the take the picture screenshot for that. Again, G, let's go on with thirteen dragon boy from last game, and also in the whole match must be more like twenty something. So once again, congratulations to you. And now we come into the the, the, uh, the MVP the from Brutahood first. Um, no, I think about because it's still like the match, but now we're gonna pick like the most, you know, like yep. from the World Cup tournament. Yeah. 
when the South Korea versus Canada and the game finished, South Korea win, but then they got an MVP player for the whole thing and then it's uh, XQC. Yeah, that's, that's just because XQC's stream fans all voted for him. Oh, no, he, 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 was, really he was he was leading, he did, lead, he did play well, but he was also leading the MVP vote before he had played, so by a significant percentage. Ah, uh, he was he was at forty percent after they opened the competition before he'd even played. So let's yeah, not yeah. pretend that was the bad display at all. <laughs> I mean, I just I just take an example to say about what yeah, is yeah. a real MVP going to be here, like the one for the whole tournament coming up here. Yeah. So you know, those loose Joe beats and trends is a pretty consistent, Kima. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have some we have some uh, we have some. Uh, Continue uh, have pick it up from Bo uh, uh, Bo Koji first from Big Dog gonna be like Ramaro the pick from uh, Ramaro I mean do you have a talk with me about it like say Ramaro is that like one of the best yeah. uh, improvement player uh, should be yeah, he's really come a long way and and the way he yeah, played yeah. the Reinhardt and Monkey is like definitely so <laughs> different from the week one and also from the thing so that's the pick from Big Dog. However, in the second place, we have uh, Dr. Bai say for the most global player, he thinking about Equinox because he plays support and creating a lot of SR recently for like... Oh, shucks. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually was a good thing. That means your game set is improving and when you play, you give the spot manship and the way you talk. So now we have two picks between Ramarok and Equinox for the whole team of mine. So Ram now... Rook. Ram so I want everyone speak the name of Do. I mean, like we're gonna counting on the name Do thing like that happening on chat. So let's do it. Okay, chat. If you hear me now, if you think Ram Rock is should be the MVP for the whole tournament, just do hashtag Ram. If you think Ekunok is the MVP based on what he performed from for the whole try to carry the team and cheer the team up, just do hashtag Ekunok, and we're gonna count him from there. Let the time begin and have fun from there. <laughs> now, this is the point where I have to remind Kima that our stream is on a delay, and so chat, I'm not going to hear that for another 90 seconds or something. Can I just add? There's two way in for me here, that's how committed I am, but just saying. <laughs> Solid music on time. Love it. To be able to <laughs> yeah, that is certainly an effort right there. It's fucking commitment. Okay, I put a challenge. They should be hearing that yeah, by the time yeah. by now. Timing by me. I see some Ram as the man spam. Some Ram gate. Uh... Ram gate. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> I mean, like, jungle, at, baby. I mean, like, at the end of the day, the whole thing of this is just like enjoy and have fun together. Because yeah, yeah, in OCE, yeah. a big <laughs> tournament is not like the big thing. We try to improve in that together and try to make that happen. So that's the kind of thing. Kimo, you should plug. You should plug next season. You should plug next season. Can oh, we come back as a six stack next season? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, uh, okay, I think there should be a son of Jupiter here. Is he here, I think? He's certainly in chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're on a one-way train to Ram down, baby. Because hey, I do, have... you bring, do you want to bring Ram into this chat? Bring Ram up, he's such no, a yeah. sweetheart. All right, I think he's deafened at the moment, so maybe he doesn't hear any of this. It's all right, I'll message him and abuse him. <laughs> Ram the man. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> he's a big softy. Don't let his don't let him fool you. Uh, he's definite at the moment, so <laughs> Oh there he is. Oh baby. What's up? Uh oh. so I believe if if we have all the Twitch votes now, Kima, do you wanna do you wanna announce it or yeah, Ram, yeah. we just wanted to know um we just wanted to ask you who's the worst player in Big Doge and why is it Liz? <laughs> 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 okay. 
okay, okay. We keep cutting down the RAM and the Equinox, so it will be in final soon when the stream is about to end. Okay, now I'm um, here we go. Here now we have a Sun Jupiter and okay, one of our members doing the work for season two. So I would love to have Sun Jupiter and me to talk about the season two what is changing. So can you give everyone here a quick note about that? Yeah, sure. Um, so the biggest changes that we're going to be looking at is uh, more consistent rules from day one. Um, I think that uh, there's a lot of um, confusion about what is and isn't allowed in the competition. I feel like um, having a document or something that um, outlines exactly what we can and can't do in the competition helps um, with uh, any confusions that are presented and also um, for outside jobs as well. Um, so that's what uh, myself and the case are going to be working towards is having something that's a lot more streamlined, um, a lot more functional, and um, we'll have the competition um, hopefully being less toxic and more enjoyable for for everybody. So, Kesha here, I'd like to say anything more about season two. What is uh, the big changing and is it need to work on or something? I'm here, my friend. Um, no, there's, there's strict guidelines, you know. Okay, okay, a bit of strict guidelines should, should work, yeah. And mother mm. and all the players join the league. Yeah, like you, fan. We need some more you, fans on the. <laughs> no, one's enough, mate. Way more. Than <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. Oh, he's not even here, he's asleep. Didn't even step towards his team. What a dick at him, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, now we So that's uh, something we're going to study. It's definitely the thing we're looking at for changing for season two. Yeah. And the more thing we're looking on, the more info we'll be releasing on our channel in like a week. After this, we're going to have a big break from like one to two weeks. Everything preparing and for documentation, working to get done. Oh, uh, it's kind of like the most hard to do this up for the anyway. So that's the thing we need to do. Oh, sorry, we can perform in family show. But, um, okay. Oh, my bad. I shouldn't say that again. Anyway. Okay, now let's interview Ram as we have uh, Ram a lot of votes yeah. for Ram. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Ram is the best of all of us. Yeah. 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 Nah, I'm far from talking. Looking. Ah, can I just talk through the whole season because obviously this is the this is the MVP of the mm -hmm. tournament. Yeah. So, do you just want to talk about? I mean, in our is that we start the season off 